Narutalk, the Narutosha podcast, is made possible through contributions from listeners like you. To help support the podcast and to earn exclusive rewards, head to www.patreon.com forward slash Narutalkpod. That's www.patreon.com forward slash Narutalkpod. Believe it. Hey everyone, this is Naruto Uzumaki, and you're listening to No Talk. Believe it! Hello everyone, welcome back to Naruto Talk, the greatest podcast ever to be all about Naruto. I'm your host, Liam English, and with me, as always, today is my co-host, Morgan Williamson. Hi everybody. How is it going, Morgan? It's going it's going good, you know, living life. No, haven't, I don't know. haven't left That's why my door room. I listen. I know, I'm sorry. We were in love yesterday. It's true, yeah. So um, Morgan and I are in another play. What? And, um, Where we're in love with each other, actually, this time. Do you guys well, get typecasted? We do. I think, it's, I think it's because our height is similar. <laughs> <laughs> our height is similar, and apparently we have good enough chemistry because the director was like, you guys are fine with this, right? And we were like, well, you didn't ask before, oh, so oh, I guess so. So we were like blocking our scene yesterday, and yeah. most of it is us rolling around on the floor. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and, and the director, who's a great guy, like this is going to sound creepy, but it's like creepy in a Jiraiya way. Like it's kind of charming, but it's creepy if I... Hmm. No, it's just creepy. Yeah. Um, he was, the director was like, because we don't have one of the parts cast that mm-hmm. has to roll around with me and Morgan. So he was like, oh, let me just slot myself in right here. And so we were just rolling around on the floor. And one of the things is I have to lay on top of this character mm-hmm. and then Liam has to lay on top of me. So it was, it was like a little director sandwich. And we, were, we were like, do, we, do you want us to actually do this? He was like, no, 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 no. We don't have to do it right now, unless you guys want to. <laughs> I was like, maybe we should wait until this part is cast to, to do a little more yeah, rolling around on the ground. sandwich. Yeah, exactly. Like, I don't need to sandwich with you, bro. Not um. But you get to sandwich with me. Oh heck yeah, baby. Um, I'm also joined by <laughs> Katie Sideri. Hi. What's 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 new in your neighborhood, dog? Um, oh, what? <laughs> <laughs> well, you know how, like, I always make up slang and shit? Yeah. There was this one kid that I, I don't talk to a lot today, and I ran into him today, and I was like, yo, what's up, dog? And then he said something, and I was like, right on. And he was like, why do you talk like that? <laughs> like, shit, no one's ever asked me. <laughs> You're stuck in a Disney Channel's 2000, like, opening? Yeah, no, absolutely. Yeah. But, what, uh, but what about you, Katie? Katie, your life is like a Disney Channel 2000's opening. Why don't you speak to sure. that? Um, Speak truth to power. I don't know. I nothing really is new. I wish I had something more interesting to say. You painted outside today. Um, painted I outside? did paint outside today. I painted outside you every see Thursday. Did you walking to class? Thing. No, Where I didn't. were you? I was in the graveyard. You definitely. <laughs> <laughs> I was in the graveyard. Because oh, I definitely Katie. saw you. I What's definitely that mean? saw you. Wait. In uh-huh. your pink jacket. Yes. But I was late to class. Uh, I was late for Morgan standards late. Yeah, that's so I, I do that a lot. Was well, that was Katie's Speedy? spirit. Yeah. So what she does, she goes to the graveyard. Yeah. I was in the graveyard. And she communes whole... with the spirits. Yeah. Yeah, I dig a hole and I lie in it. <laughs> no, so, you know, so the way I see it is so, so you like dig a hole like six feet down. Yeah. And you jump in there. You exactly. put the dirt on top. And then you let that's your spirit just... rise. Yeah. It's like a way to communicate with the dead. So that's... under. Yeah. Well, I know. And then I'm just you saying, paint. That's the spirit. Yeah, spirit yeah. paint. Yeah. yeah. Does the spirit paint spirit or do you paint your spirit? The spirit paint. Do you Well, it's kind of like we motion control. So you're like moving underground. Underground, you're moving your arm. And then the ghost moves kind of like it. Not quite, it's not quite Wii Motion Plus. It's, like, it's how you explain like Katie's like Android movements. Yeah. So there's like a slight like eh, to it. Actually, like, oil yeah. it most of the time when Katie's on this podcast, she's dead and it's just an astral projection. Yeah, I, I'm wow. just under the under Raj the has body doubles. controlling myself. And and, Ra- and Katie is an and astral I'm, projection. And also dead. Raj, I'm, a, I'm spirit. Piece. And also Raj's other body double that's is why, astral projecting as that's Katie. That's why Katie bangs on the table sometimes because she's doing the motion controls. And I just can't quite. Like, yeah, figure she's out just trying to raise her arms. It's like when the Wii sense bar fucks up, so like the, yeah, exactly. the cursor flies it's everywhere. Just swinging all over the place. Yeah. And that's when she like stares forward soullessly. It's just like the Bluetooth connection being. This makes sense. Sorry, that one. That's how I live. Sixth sense, right? Because Katie was dead all along, like in that movie from that one time. Like that one movie. Mm -hmm. Who did that? Shyamalan. Yeah. Dude, what a fall from grace, that. I know. That's insane. He did that, and then the Vavitch, and then. I don't think he didn't do the Vavitch. No, he did the Vavitch. He did the Vavitch. He did the Vavitch. Some. He did something like the Vavitch. The Vavitch is the dude who did the lighthouse. Wait, is the Vavitch not the witch for you? Oh, you're talking about the witch. I'm talking about the witch. Wait, wait, the witch might be a different movie than the Vavitch. Because the Vavitch is I know, I know this sounds crazy. Wait, no, because I thought it was like an MMM thing where you pronounce MMMs as No, MMMs. it's 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 <laughs> you're right, you're right. There is a movie called The Vavitch where it, on the marketing it looks like two V's, okay. but that's not Shyamalan. Okay, but the, Shyamalan did do the witch. He did something with a witch. 
Okay. I can't, well, I there's can't no no one's really giving answers here. <laughs> yeah. Um. Anyways, I'm joined by my, my co-host Liam English. Oh right, sorry. I'm um, also I'm sorry, Raj. I'm also yeah, here's Liam English. As always, by by Raj. By Liam English. No, how are you? I'm sorry. How I are should, you? I should ask. I should ask you. I'm I'm okay. I'm busy. You know. Okay. I'm well, busy. But how are you? I, I've been busy. Speak truth to power, man. S- truth to power. Uh, a bitch has been busy. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, you're talking about you. I thought you were yeah. just saying some bitch out there. <laughs> <Some> <laughs> I hope you're busy. It's like, me. I'm you bitch. bitch. <laughs> it's like, what a weird way to talk. You never, <laughs> say, you never say things like that. <laughs> hey, so this is the 20th episode of Nara Talk. That's, that's cool, right? I mean, I didn't. That's epic. I forgot to say Fit something. The way to 100. Yeah, that's cool. And actually, we have a reader response that we're going to do today. Yeah. So I'm, actually, why not just do it now, right? Dude, if I could, Who go gives for a it, shit? Yeah. Right? Breaking it up. Changing I mean, the Format, yeah, baby. I make the fucking rules on this shit, bitten man. All right. Man. So, um, somebody... Was that brother man? <laughs> man. 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 Yeah, my um, my my roommate always calls me brother man, and it's it's he's he's the sweetest guy ever. But he'll like run up to me and like, grab my shoulders and be like, "What's up, brother man? I love you." His bandana really makes it. There's <laughs> those like tie dyed bandanas, and the fact that he usually reeks of alcohol because. He... Dude, I was hanging out with him and a couple other guys today, and before he left, he was like, all right, bro, I gotta head to my program. I fucking hate it there, and I hate everyone in it. That's why I always drink and smoke so much. I fucking hate my life. Peace out, brother man. I love you. <laughs> wow! <laughs> I was like, uh-huh. I'm t- oh, oh, I'm uh, so bye. Do you, do, you, do you need anything? Like, um, I but, need a new life. Yeah, I know. It's tragic, because he's so nice. But um, anyways, so here's a reader response up top, because what the fuck? But it answers your question. You didn't ask a question, Morgan, but... That answers my statement. It answers your statement. <laughs> um, Nath on YouTube said, By my calculations, without filler and estimating weeks off for holidays at three episode average per podcast... This is crazy, because I haven't even done this Did math the yet. Fucking <laughs> math, but you'll be finished in August 2022. Do you, God damn. Yeah. Which, right off the bat... Holy shit, that's when we graduate. We yeah, graduate, yeah. yeah. That works perfectly anyways. Whoa! I know. We're graduating <laughs> with Naru talks. Oh my god. But um, their, their question oh, was... Oh my god, that's gonna be so sad. Wait, wait. Yeah. Can we decorate our caps for graduation? We'll see how we feel by then. Because... because <laughs> we, we don't hate the podcast. Yeah. She went, are we allowed, we allowed, allowed to decorate oh, our caps? Are we allowed? I Because I definitely probably would it's in put school. Naru talk. At, no, I'll, I'll put at Naruto talk pod or something. Well, what are we going to be plugging by then? We're going to shut down the, everything, you know? Well, people can still go back and watch. I want to become listen. an archive, you know? Yeah. So it's like once it's over, you just come back and you're like, oh, I remember when I used to listen to these four people in college talk about Naruto. <laughs> We've talked about that before, but like especially the 11-year-old the and like there's other younger kids out there who are, who are like yeah. listening now and they're going to like grow up. Yeah. And show their fucking kids or something and be like, yeah, this is a podcast I love. But that, that's, like, what I think is the difference between, like, us and, like, Spongebob. Because Spongebob is still going. So, you mm-hmm. can, like, we'll, we'll go, like, oh, remember those, like, awesome seasons? And then we have a cutoff for yeah. our memory. But for them, like, the new shit, like, those, like, 11-year-old, that's their stuff. For us, ending? Mm-hmm. That's really Because people still talk about, like, Lost and, that's, like, all that shit. Because it ended. That's why I yeah. honestly love that this podcast is finite. You know what I yeah. mean? Like, yeah. I think it's really cool that we'll be someday be able to look back and be like, oh, shit, that's all of Naruto that's, that we, like, covered. Yeah, like, exactly. that's bombastic. Um, yeah. Anyways, the, the, their question was, do you work. think... I know. <laughs> but they were like, do you think by then you'll be burnt out, and are there any plans beyond Naruto already? So, first of all, burnt out, yeah, right? Yeah, like, yeah, most we're, we're like, I'm burnt out now. now. <laughs> <laughs> Naruto's hard to watch, guys. I mean, it's like it's like watching the episodes is hard, and writing the outlines is really hard. Recording the podcast is fun, yeah. but just the things around it yeah. are immensely difficult. Very difficult. Yeah. Um. What about what do you guys think? Are you guys gonna be? How How are you feeling about it? I don't know. I mean, I have been enjoying watching Naruto. Mm. It's. Uh, I mean, I'm always like, oh yeah, I have to find time to watch Naruto, but then I'm sitting and I'm watching and I'm like, oh, this is a yeah, cute. It's fun. It's fun. fun. Yeah. Like, and also, I like doing this. Well, like 2022, will be, Jesus. Right? I, we'll we'll be different people. We'll be straight yeah. up different people. I'll I mean, be white. Like, <laughs> guys, that's going to be crazy. Really interesting. And I'll be black. No, I won't. That's, <laughs> no, a, that's, a, that's a lie. <laughs> that's such a lie. Oh, so you're playing the character, huh? Hmm? Oh, oh, that's another That's another thing about Morgan and, and my play. Actually, do, 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 do you want to fill everybody in on this one, Morgan? So, the, the character... So, Liam and I are in this play for... A very short amount of time. Mm-hmm. If anybody listening is familiar, it's six degrees of separation, and we play Elizabeth and Rick. Heck yeah, we do. And the only character, pretty much, that we play opposite is Paul, mm-hmm. who is a young, quote-unquote, fake charismatic black man. Yeah. And it's important, because the whole show is about, like, race. Yes. Um, <laughs> but... And we lost we lost our Paul. He, he didn't die. 
Um, but he, he, dropped, he, he, dropped, he dropped the show. But at, 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 at the first read through that we ever did for the script, it was one of our white friends reading for this guy, and I hadn't read the show yet. So when he got to the line that was like, "Hey man, it's just hard being a young black man in the city," I was like, "I'm, so, I'm sorry." Well, there's um, there's a Paul in our Discord, and you're white, if I can recall that right. So. Come, come, yes. <laughs> uh, try this audition. Come be part of this play. I mean, well, and that's the thing. We were having, um, the director step in. The character that he was stepping in for when we were rolling around on the ground was Paul. And he doesn't know who's going to be able to play it, so who, who knows, you know? Maybe blackface. Oh my gosh. <laughs> Which is a joke we've been making regularly mm-hmm. that I think only the two of us think is funny. Right, because I think <laughs> the director is taking it more and more serious every day that we don't have a Paul. Yeah. That's yeah. usually how it goes for shows. Like, until the last minute, they're just like... Hmm, maybe we should cast everyone. Yeah, yeah. Um, but in, yeah. in terms of what's going to happen post Nara Talk, first of all, we're going to be graduated, so who knows? Who knows? But, like, there's not going to be a Bora Talk. I can say that definitively now. Yeah, no. Um, it's kind of like Johnny Darko 2, where oh, that's, yeah. like, a thing, but no one wanted to do it. Yeah, there will be a Bora Talk. It won't be us. It won't be it us. It'll be all <laughs> different people. They'll, um, they'll, like... And Emma. It'll be all different people. <laughs> <laughs> oh, <laughs> Our children? Yeah. Oh my like god. Oh one my gosh, day we're gonna be like, oh well, when I was in college and I started a podcast and our kids are gonna be like, what was it about? I'm not gonna let my kid be a weeb. <laughs> and no. they're gonna be like, yeah. oh, it was about Naruto. And our kids are gonna be like, well, that's crazy. I wanna do that. And then they're gonna do it about Boruto. No, my kids yeah. gonna be like my mom and But they're gonna do it when they're yeah, like no. 11 and it's gonna be really, really. My kid's not gonna be me. Like, the second he comes out the womb, he's gonna like, he's gonna get a football in his hands or something. <laughs> oh, I'm gonna make him and a chat. He's gonna be like, wanna, go. wanna listen to wave music on, on SoundCloud? And he's gonna be like, hey, I'm just trying to throw the pigskin around. <laughs> As a baby, he's like just <laughs> born. He has that he comes out with stuff. <laughs> he's a just for men ad that comes out the womb. That'd be fucking crazy. <laughs> but uh, yeah, I don't know. There, there, there's probably gonna be stuff that starts coming out like next year. I don't know what my next project's gonna be, but it ain't gonna be boring. Wait, talked. I think it is though because didn't you start planning it today? I actually did. Yeah, that's true. Stay tuned. But um, lots of wacky things coming your way. Yeah, I don't know. After Naruto, we're, we'll probably like hate each other. Um. <laughs> <laughs> um, no, I don't know. Maybe we'll watch the Boruto movie or something. That's all right. But like, it's gonna end when Naruto ends, pretty much. You know, like mm-hmm. if it ain't canon in the manga, we're not watching it. And the yeah. Boruto manga. Like well, I feel is like nothing, stuff like so. that movie could be like a real radio or something. Mm. Yeah. Well, that movie. There's one Naruto or movie that's it? canon, so we do have to watch that oh, for the okay. podcast. Yeah. Which is. Is it like come oh in God. like? Mm-hmm. Is it like sequ- se- sequential? Like, is there? Yeah, like yeah. A yeah time it takes that it, it takes place like between a couple episodes at the end. Oh, okay. Yeah, yeah. But. uh... That's the second time I've heard sequential in the past two hours. You white people, do you guys like have a group <laughs> chat where you where you just try to fuck with me and you say words like that? <laughs> Actually, <I> yes. <laughs> <laughs> Bombastic. Where'd you get that from? All of the white people have yeah. a group chat. Yeah, we plan yeah. we plan meetings where we can play polo. <laughs> <laughs> And we all just have... And we pick big words to uh, say. Yeah, we all just have a thesaurus that we yeah. just pass around. Yeah. It feels targeted. I feel like you yeah. wouldn't say the word unless you were talking to me, Katie. What are you doing? What? If I wasn't in your presence, would you say she words like that? She also wasn't even yeah. talking to you. She I said to Liam, is it Liam. sequential? I think the real trick is that Katie also could barely say it. She yeah. said sequential. Mm. Se- well, that's just because you're like on Windows like 7. You know? Yeah. yeah. The, the, it's the Bluetooth connection <laughs> stuttering again from, from the grave. on Windows 10. There's no yeah. Cortana in your head. <laughs> Imagine, like, you know how, like, some people, like, have a voice in their head, like, that just, like, because people don't have that, which is crazy. Like, who don't, who aren't, like, mildly schizophrenic? No, 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 just, Wait, just, like, what? you know how you can have a voice in your head, you just, like, tell yourself things? Like, like yeah, like, like, when you read a book, you read it in the voice in your head? Yeah, like, some people don't have that. What? Some people just what do don't. Um, people who are born deaf don't, <laughs> no, but they don't have a voice in their head been, because they've never heard a voice. So I've always wondered, like, what do deaf schizophrenic um, people hear? Nothing. But, but, but something. No, but literally nothing. Because unless they weren't born deaf, like if they went deaf, they have some sort of voice. So like mm-hmm. children who go deaf really young, oftentimes it's one of their parents' voices. Whoa. Because that's all they hear. That's so fascinating. Um, But like if you were born deaf, you don't hear voices. Right. Because you have no reference of what a voice is. Yeah. That would suck if you were like. Well, yeah. If you were like. <laughs> I think that that's... No, but like imagine you were like. Say you were having sex and you were just thinking in your head and you see your dad going, Yeah, she's hot. <laughs> like, how would oh you <laughs> so, so it's your dad being like a high pitched lady voice. <laughs> <laughs> um, yes, but some people just don't think, which is crazy. Yeah. Well, they think, but they don't have that head. I, I, I literally can't head. imagine what the, what the thought process would even be like, you know? I was just reading like interviews about people who have that shit. Well, I guess the lack of having that shit. Yeah. The, and, they and, have and, the lack is of that, is, is that more common or less common? It, it's, it's not as common as I think people make it out to be. Uh-huh. A lot of people just think. 
Right, right. A lot of people. Just think <laughs> a lot of people don't, which is a problem. Yeah. But uh, it just, it's just them, because they they don't believe you, which yeah. is the first thing. They're when like, you're like, there's a little voice in my head. Yeah, they're like, well, I'm, I'm, show. yeah, they're like, how are you reading that book? Like in your head, there's a voice. They they just don't. They just read it with their Can, words. They read it out loud. Like no, but yeah. they just like uh, they read it out loud. I, I would assume out they loud, just, like, which, like take it's just, it one step at a time. Yeah, it's just like all visual, all yeah. with their eyes. There's no auditory thing in their brain. There. Which is insane to me. Yeah. No, it's kind of because crazy. like I yeah. I knew that because like I knew the thing about like if you're born deaf you don't have a you voice in your right. head but it, I like it's hard to like I don't comprehend it because I'm like oh well I'm hearing yeah. so but it's like hard, I've never thought about it that people even people who aren't deaf like it's possible for that to happen yeah it's weird the disconnect between like voices in your head and then how you talk because I talk like a dumbass but in my head I'm Shakespeare I don't get it I think you <laughs> talk like Shakespeare but just like modern day and not like Shakespeare. Oh, sounds a lot like not Shakespeare. <laughs> <laughs> Why would you want to talk like Shakespeare, though? I don't know. Is make... that true in your head? You're thinking to yourself, oh, doth Rajas steppeth down these stairs. I want it to smoke some cigarettes. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I get really like, it's like a mix between Shakespeare and then when I get high, it's like Edgar Allan Poe. Oh, well, I feel that. Yeah. Most definitely. <laughs> like, I, like, you analyze every situation, but it's like cryptic and dark and you just... There's, there's definitely, like, a dark light filter yeah, on your head. A raven tapping on the <laughs> chamber door, as, as they say. Off the raven. Never Have you more. read the, the Telltale Heart? Yeah, dude. They made me read that, like, four times in high school. I mean, it fucking slaps. It's pretty it, cool. It, it, it slapped the first time. <laughs> and then it progressively slapped less. Yeah, because then, you know, I knew what happens at the end. And then, right, and that's kind of the, it's kind of the point. It's kind of the point. Yeah, yeah. And then, then you, you still know what happens at the end, and you're not really, like, adjust, adjusting at all. Right, right. And at that point, your teacher's like, I don't think you guys have the material. And then you can kind of recite it by heart. And suddenly you're Edgar Allan Poe. Yeah, like, hmm. yeah. I knew the Raven by heart for a while. That was weird. Read the Bible? Question mark. Have you read the Bible? I'm reading it right now. Because huh. I've kind of made a vow to myself that in my life I want to be as knowledgeable as about as many things as possible, including religions. Because mm. I'm not a very like heavily religious person. I'm a very faithful person. Yeah, yeah. But I'm not very religious. Um, so I want to know as much as I can about every religion that I can. So, like, I want to read the Bible. Yeah, and, like, that's a good motivation. If they all added, of it. If they added the Bible to the Shonen Jump app, I would no, probably that, I think, read yeah, that. Like, I think it's really interesting that that's why you, like, read the Bible. Like, I only, like, got into the Bible a little bit just because every... I, I made sure not to know most of it because out of context, some of the stories from the Bible sound like science fiction, like, stories. Oh, yeah. Like, like Star context. Wars. Straight yeah, up. Yeah, no, in context, Wars. most of them. <laughs> yeah. And then he made a tree. Yeah, but it's only because of Binding of Isaac that I got into the Bible. That yeah. game is like straight up. But that's the thing. Like, Bible. So much shit takes stuff from the Bible that I'm kind of like, I guess maybe I should read. No, it. If you made like a cool Star Wars Bible story, like yeah. I watch it. The Bible that I have that I'm reading right now, I like started reading it recently. Yeah. But it literally says in the beginning that anybody God created can, the heaven and the earth. Mm, before that. Okay. Um, that before took a he massive before, fart, bro. Yeah, yeah. Humongous <laughs> fart. Before, before he created anything. heaven and earth. Um, he created the fact that anybody can quote the Bible in anything and not have to, like, cite it. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Which is... He hates MLA format. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> God, God got kicked out of college for plagiarizing himself. <laughs> um, before we uh, get more off track, we're so, it doesn't matter. Um, Katie, why don't you tell people, if they're listening for the first time, what this podcast is mostly about. Oh, yes. Okay, so... Uh, Two weebs and two normies. We watch. <laughs> I hate right? to say normies. Also, this is not right look, coming out of your mouth. What was the beginning of that? Yeah, sentence? yeah. Either if you're gonna say weebs and normies, you have to either declare it or change the words to something more normal. You said two weebs and two normies. We watch. Two weebs, two normies, <laughs> four like bitches. Come on. Oh, like like a person. Throw in a couple um, f's at the end of the words. It'll sound like Shakespeare. Uh, <laughs> um, two two, two weebs. Two with we <laughs> Two with we miss. We'll walk through it. Two with we miss and two with normieth. Normieth. Watch it. Watch it. Two to four episodes of if Naruto. Naruto. Toth. That's just our. That's just our vibe. That's just our Naruto. Naruto. Uh huh. Um, a week. It's all right. <laughs> and we were, just just tell, tell you what, just say what the podcast is Okay, about. yeah, we watch <laughs> two to four episodes of Naruto, and then we talk about it, we don't watch filler. Um, that's true, that's, that's and, it. That's important, yeah, that's pretty much it. No filler. Episodes. Here's uh, something fun that happened with us. Uh, our listener numbers spiked a ton last week, probably because we went to Anime and Oh, dude, we were going hard on dude, the business we got 1,500 You're downloads welcome. on last week's episode alone. Holy <gasps> shit. Does that I get a wild? shout out? Wait, what? I made the business cards. Oh, yeah. Uh, I get a shout-out? Oh, shit. Yeah, shout-out really Morgan did. for those business cards. <laughs> Which we handed out all... Dude, 
I we made what's eight times twenty five? Whatever that is, that's how many business cards we made. We should get this dude to do the reader response to do the math for that. Yeah. Hey, yeah. hey, buddy on YouTube. I think uh, Nath, right? Nath. Hey, if you can wait, do more I math for it. us. Wait, wait is their name really Nath? And they do no, no, but you have to give Nath. This is Nath's existence. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm doing it for me. Okay, okay, but yeah, but, but let Nath lives. do it. Yeah, or they live. Yeah, this yeah. Where they live. yeah. Nath lives for math. That's hence the Nath name. lives for math. Um, but yeah, dude, our wow, that's a lot of business cards. Speaking yeah. of that, why is Udon not in any fighting game in Naruto? Dude, I gotta talk to you about Udon because I watched the intro and outro <laughs> for this season. It's a lot. Udon makes an appearance. And I, I have quite a few thoughts. But we'll save that for the, for the end. Um, because this week we watched episodes 54 and 55, which is the beginning of Naruto's training with the legendary Sanin Jiraiya. So, without... <laughs> it's been 20 minutes. Holy shit, really? <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> Well, without any further ado, let's not <laughs> talk about it. We open with Ebisu parting with Jiraiya, making a point to emphasize that he trusts that the Sanin will do the right thing. Uh, in, at the end of the last episode, he was like, yo, bro, if you're back, you have to deal with Orochimaru, because like only a Sanin can take out one of the Sanin. Jiraiya looks over Naruto as he contemplates this. Remember, he was sort of just watching Naruto sleep. Oh, yeah. A classic. Mm -hmm. My favorite right. pastime. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I just mean, watching Naruto sleep? All the time. That's all I do. Are there compilations on YouTube that you watch regularly? I wonder oh, there's compilations of me watching Naruto. <laughs> Wait, it's a, comp it's a compilation of you? Just, yeah, me in my bed, just watching Naruto sleep on my you TV. You know, I wouldn't be shocked if there's people out there who listen to this podcast who would, who would pay right? you to watch you watch Naruto. There's this, like, <laughs> fucking legendary meme post I saw in high school. It's a subreddit of just a guy, like, a, this dude's friend, mm -hmm. just photos of him sleeping. And I've always wanted to do something like that. Yeah, you could do it. Oh, actually, I can make a subreddit now. Wait, I, why? I, you have the karma or whatever? I, I don't know. Just this morning I opened Reddit and suddenly there was like, new feature. I also, my account turned three years old. So I, I think I'm just old enough to make an, a Holy subreddit. Holy shit. Can, can, you make one? can you make one for us? Yeah, yeah, definitely. Talk subreddit? It's going to be crazy. I, I like clicked it, but then they were like, name your subreddit. I was like, ooh, this is power. Wait, do you have like an r slash Raj now? I might. I I'd could. Get, I'd get in on that. You Fuck know? yeah. Do you know what Reddit is, Katie? No. <laughs> well, you just learned about Arbor Day, so let's teach you about Reddit. Okay. <laughs> so, Wait, was Arbor Day before we started recording? Yes. Yes. Oh. We taught Katie what Arbor Day was. Mm, I taught Morgan Katie taught. What Arbor Day I also learned what Arbor Day is. It's a day of trees, which is kind of stupid. That's a whole yeah. day. Yeah. No. Well, I guess it's trees. trees. No, no. Tree. It, it should be which every day. Cool. Oh, well, oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 Okay. Yeah. Well, I guess people go out and plant trees for Arbor Day. If that makes sense. Maybe like, motherfuckers should plant trees it's all like the time. Earth yeah. Day and Christmas. Is it Earth Day? Is it the same as Earth Day? So we no. have two days just for Earth. Yeah. Get over yourself, planet. You just go to any planet. Where would you go? I mean. Earth. No, so I, I go breathe. to fucking Venus, bro. That's just, there's poisonous gas in the it's air. It's the brightest planet. Yeah. yeah. So imagine just I'm like you see it, like, planet. assuming you enter alive, and then your, your body just gets filled with poison, and all you see is like the coolest, brightest flashing light of purple. What's the planet with the sideways molten glass ring? Dude, I don't know the name of that, but that it's like, I, I, for some reason, every time they discover a new planet that's not within our solar system, yeah. they always name it like... Earth 6,000 yeah. <laughs> or like triple X 44. Earth like, 2099. <laughs> it's, like, it's like, why? But there's a planet out there that rains molten glass sideways, yeah. which is just like the most terrifying concept. <laughs> top three ways, like top three biggest fears of mine. Li uh, reptiles coming out of places where they yeah, shouldn't we be. We've, we've talked about all of Raj's fears before, but this is just oh. a, this is a compilation. Number okay. two, I, I think, well, I think I, I, I upped it to heat death. I, I, I sit in my bed a lot just thinking about like heat death. <sighs> But not like what? To, so like eventually the sun's gonna consume the earth. Ah, got it. So and I think about that a lot. Heat. Well, not dying from heat necessarily. <laughs> what? But I'm sorry. Sun <laughs> death sounds more like your son killing you, mm -hmm. which is oh, also true. But also, the, oh imagine, yeah, because you don't play football with him. I, I, I just don't. He already has a beard. He has a girlfriend. He doesn't want me in his life <laughs> he anymore. Comes out the womb and he's like, "Can I borrow the car, Dad? <laughs> Going to make a point with Jessica." <laughs> with Jessica, bro. And there's another mom giving birth to a girl. She's like, honey, let's go. We gotta get a make a point. It's like, it's like, it's like a tiny little car. <laughs> a convert, like a whole ass, like, convertible. Yeah, but the point is Arbor Day exists, I guess. I don't yeah. remember. What we oh, we were explaining to Katie what Reddit is. It's the front yeah. page of the internet. The what? Front Basically, the it's internet. a place where you can form a community about really anything. So it's like a bunch of mini internets just about one topic. Oh. Yeah. So, cool. like, r slash Raj would be all about Raj. Yeah. r slash Naruto so. is all about Naruto, and I got banned for posting too much about this podcast. <laughs> <laughs> Free Liam. Yeah. Free his account. Yeah, if you know the mods, burn them down. <laughs> let us take over. Yeah. Give us Naruto. Just let me advertise. <laughs> That's all 
all I want. Mm. Um, mm-hmm. <laughs> anyways, elsewhere, it's nighttime. And Gara sits atop a giant gold statue of a fish, which is on top of a building and looking across at another giant fish. I don't know why. Where I am. <laughs> it's, it's symbolism for... Fish. Fish. <laughs> <laughs> Dosu, a pr- our little mummy furry boy, uh, not our furry boy, that's Kiba, but our little mummy boy, approaches Gara, wondering if you like that. <laughs> wondering if the sand genin ever sleeps, as he wanted to assassinate him easily. Because if, if uh, Dosu kills Gara, Dosu will be able to fight Sasuke sooner in the finals. Dosu wonders whether his sound or Gara's sand is faster, preparing an assault, but then, beneath the full moon, Gara transforms. And we don't see what into it, we just see the shadow. But it's like something gigantic and like a monster or something. And Isn't it? Furry. It's strange. <laughs> you ever like think about it, just like, does Gara sleep? Maybe that's what those things are. It, it's, 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 it's the same. <laughs> it's like sleep? The bags. The bags, the bags, bags. bags. Yeah. Oh, uh, I, yeah. just, I just think it's when it comes to like characters like this, they're never really made. Like, they want you to connect and feel so personal. Yeah. Yet they never really do normal human shit. Like, does Sasuke sleep or eat? Mm-hmm. Does Gara like pee? Does any of that ever yeah. happen? Yeah, I really can't imagine Gara peeing. Yeah, no, that'd be crazy. Mm-hmm. Maybe it doesn't. Maybe it just like sort of comes out. And, like, I just imagine all of them are like Barbie sand. dolls, you know? Yeah, sand. It's just don't, nothing. Don't have, don't have any genitals or anything. Nothing, bro. Just pee sand. Yeah, man. That'd be so weird. <laughs> Speaking of peeing. There's this. I thought you were. I thought you were pointing to me to get back to the outline, and I was like, "Are you throwing to me with speaking of peeing? What am I supposed to do with that?" <laughs> <laughs> no, but there's um. I don't know if I've told this story. I was at the daycare Is it today. A pee- <laughs> well, if it was today, then you've not told the story. I know. Uh, but there's something that's happened a lot, but I've never really noticed it. Okay. Like everyone talking about, it, but like, there's this girl oh. in our daycare who can't pee. Unless she's being read to. We have mm-hmm. talked about yeah. that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. And, and today she's, like, gone over that. But now you kind of have to hold her hand. So the teacher just, like, yeah, that's worse. held her hand the whole time. <laughs> and which kind of just, like, yeah. how you doing? That doesn't sound like getting over that. That sounds like a regression to me, personally. Does it? Because I feel like you can listen to an audiobook, but if... <laughs> You know what I mean? Like if you No, but it wasn't like... It, it, I'd rather someone hold my hand if I was peeing than someone reading an entire book to um, me. And and this girl well, waited for the, the book door. to be finished for her. She could be done like 10 seconds in. This book's not over. She's not getting up. Oh. Okay, but I, I feel like I'm imagining this girl at 16 years old mm-hmm. having never gotten over it, but now anytime she's in a public restroom, she has to reach under the stall <laughs> and, be like, and hold whoever's hand sitting hand? there. Yeah. <laughs> can which, I have your hand? I can't pee without which it. Which is why, although I guess if you had to listen to a whole audiobook every time you had to pee. I think my dad does that. <laughs> I can't imagine listening to audiobooks. My Honestly, father, me neither. Okay. My father is solidly old, mm-hmm. so he has hearing aids. Of course, aids. like old, old. You know, like like, like shaky like, old, like like, like not definitively old. Isn't older it? than like normal parents for kids our age. Yeah. Okay. So he has hearing aids because he's like deaf. Yeah. yeah. But does he, he hear can, voices? Mm, I don't know. <laughs> okay. I will, I'll ask you him that when I see You ever think about that? Your parents him. having a voice in their head, dude, or like your about siblings? My parents' like personal issues fucks with me so bad. Like, I have my parents' personal issues. Well, yeah, so. me too. And I'm always like, mom, you know, like I'm like I have body dysmorphia, and she's like, oh, me too. Get depressed about it, bitch. I think my mom oh my may gosh. have said that exact sentence to me. Yeah. That's nice. um, <laughs> yeah but, everyone knows my mom famously bullies me. But so. He used to drive me to and from school, and I live, like, four and a half, five hours away, so it's a drive. But he can link his phone to his hearing aids, mm-hmm. so he would listen to Wait. audiobooks through his hearing aids. That seems like a diff- <laughs> That's so funny. Because then not only can he not hear you when you're talking to him, but all he can hear is, I assume, like, John Grisham's The Firm or something? He listens to, like, mob audiobooks. Yeah, that makes sense. Dan Brown <laughs> kind of shit, you know? Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. I got bad. you. Then Beth loves a good monster. So, yes. Gara <laughs> turns into this big old monster, and he, like, crushes Dosu. Just kills him in, like, an instant. He's just dead. Like, what a what a waste. Yeah. Every, dude, that, like, pissed me off. It was a bit of build-up for nothing. Literally yeah. nothing. Yeah. And that, that sucks. Dosu, like, he, he he was, like, the last one. Yeah. That was his whole thing. And he knew he was gonna, like, be fucked up. And exactly. he was like, I'm gonna yeah. do this for me now. Yeah. Well, Fuck yeah. Rush Maru. My favorite was, like, no, I must defeat you, so then I can defeat Sasuke. And we're like, oh, he's going to defeat Sasuke. But, and then but, he but, bitch no. got defeated. I- immediately. And then he got yeeted. Yeah. yeah. I yeah. was really curious to know whether the sound of the sand was faster, because, I mean, sound is <laughs> faster. <laughs> it's physics, right? Well, I guess like, it was. We knew Gara was be, you know, probably going to win that. I guess like, it was yeah. the sand in the end, yeah. But, but then, sand's the worst thing but ever. But you would think that sound would be faster, because, you know, sound is Have you ever sound. tried yelling? Have you ever tried playing your face and, like, sand and yelling? Nothing. 
Don't think it was out. Sand wins. Sand wins. Time. Yeah. And Raj has eaten a lot of sand. A lot of sand. I ate a lot today. <laughs> Take care. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Pretending that it's food. Crunchy. Yeah. Actually, there's this girl um, who's always been in my room, but... Uh, the daycare room, not my room. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> this no one in my room. My I live in a dark hole. Uh, but I've never met her, but yeah. she's constantly been on the, the class, like, attendance sheet. Because mm-hmm. uh, she comes Tuesdays, Fridays. I go Monday, Thursday. But oh, okay. today she was here. So I met her for the first time. Okay. And her, her huge gimmick, right? Mm-hmm. All, these, all these little wacky kids I love that all these something. kids have a thing. She's really into just being normal. Which is kind of insane. Like like Spongebob from the normal huh? episode? You no, know, just normal. compared to those other kids, like, just, who, who don't give a shit about you, they don't care, they hit you, they, they call you gay. She sounds like Sakura. She, no, she's just so, like, she just, she's like, she woke up without any trouble from nap, and I was like, alright, hey, could you put your stuff on? She doesn't. She's like, alright, can I go play with the magnets? I'm like, okay, yeah, go can play, I with, go the play mag- with the magnets. Magnets are pretty cool. Yeah. They're yeah. fun. I just love the idea of, like, that one girl being, like, her hel- holding her hand while she's peeing, and then that girl's just like, well, this is a little weird, but I'm not one to judge. <laughs> no, she's really not. She, <laughs> she's just so normal. Yeah. And that blew my mind. I love it. It's strange, but I love it. <laughs> Um, but yeah, so Gara after he kills Dosu, he turns back into little little normal old well not normal, not but normal. human form. Baki, which I'm just gonna start naming characters whose names we don't know because I'm so fucking sick of writing the Shinobi from yeah. the Saiyan. Yeah. So Baki is that dude with the shit over his eye from the sand village. Oh, the, okay. He's like the chaperone of the sand siblings. He's with Kabuto on a roof over from Gara. Fucking Kabuto. Yeah, and, and they're, they're talking about Gara's quote-unquote true form, which, again, we didn't get to totally see. But uh, they're like, oh, he killed the sound ninja. So Baki's like, shit, bro, like, sorry about that. I know that's kind of your, your thing. But Kabuto's like, nah, bro, Dosu already served his purpose. It's totally fine. While the two are talking, Hayate sneaks up and listens while Kabuto divulges that he failed at assassinating Sasuke and was uncovered as a sound agent. Was the... If he if th- that was such a shit attempt at killing Sasuke. Oh yeah. Like you really thinking about like he just did nothing. He just threw a scalpel behind him and then jumped <laughs> out a window. <laughs> was, I was listening to the podcast um, and Katie, I remember Katie O'Morgan who thought he had the force. Both of us. You guys pulled it. Like, I thought that, he had telekinesis. It was so fucking funny. <laughs> Telekakashi. Telekakashi. Which, by the way, have you guys seen the art for that episode that Allie made? That so, was good. so good. It's I've stared at it for the so best long. cover. That's uh, like holy yeah. shit. Yeah, I, I love that she gave him a, a plumber's belt and a telekinesis lines and a bent spoon. It's so good. Yeah, it was so good. <laughs> yeah, but uh, so Baki is concerned because he believes that Kabuto being exposed as a double agent will lead to. Oh, it'll lead to their plan to destroy the Leaf Village being uh, uh, undone. Which is the first that we're hearing about any plan to destroy the Leaf Village. Whoa, whoa. I know. And and I guess the Sand guys are in on it. So the Sand yeah. and the Sand, all of the guys who are creepy are just bad guys, I guess. I hate that they made the Sand people against the Leaf Village. Mm. That's not fair. <laughs> Come on. You guys could Does anybody like, suspect yeah. the, the, the Rain Village doing anything? Yeah. Those Mist people? Those... Well, first of all, the Miss people did do shit. They were the first bad guys. Well, what are they doing now? Yeah. Come on. Right. Well, good point. Good point. Well, that's like going from, like, the Taliban to ISIS. That was, like, but. the big jump. <laughs> <laughs> but oh, my gosh. But if, if sand and mist come together... Uh-huh. That's just an uncomfortable time. Wet Ooh. sand. Ew. What is the point of that sentence? Like Wet quick sand. sand. Oh, so also the, just that could be extra evil. So the village will fall under wet sand. <laughs> I have no idea. Or I'm trying really hard. I love it. Sand, sand is just. It, I, I hate the concept. I, love I hate sand. the existence. Me I hate too. It all. Okay. Sand is the worst. The worst. Thoughts on kinetic sand? Well, that's fun. Is that's, that magnet sand? Yeah, that's better. The one that's like the one that's like Play-Doh fun. with sand. Look, tame sand is fine. I would like, tame, tame sand. sand. Yeah. I would love to have like a little zen garden in my room. Okay. Yeah. I have a little a zen garden essentially. It's just a little flat thing that you can rake mm-hmm. sand. That's would just you slash. hate that? No, that's what I want. No, yeah, but it's fine. regular sand. No, it's domesticated. Yeah. That's, that's domestic fine. sand. It's yeah. domesticated. Yeah. Mm-hmm. That's why there's a difference between like fish and ocean fish. So if I took m- my worst. little zen garden and poured it in your shoe. Well, that's not tame no. sand. That's free sand. Yeah. Yeah. That's so like, the only thing that tames it is the fact that it's sitting on a flat. Yeah. Yeah. That's, yeah. I mean, that's that's exactly. well, what's the difference between like a, a tiger in the wild and a tiger in a zoo? He's caged. Yeah. Huh. 
But oh. there's nothing stopping the sand from falling and getting in your shoe. Well, well then, there's nothing stopping a tiger from getting out of the station. <laughs> 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 he'll, 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 he'll kill people. It's, 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 there it's, is. The difference is, yeah, the difference is just the container, you know? It's all about the container. It's yeah. just, you have to, if you're, if you're in like a little, you've got a little zen garden, but you've also got like eight three-year-olds, then it's not domesticated sand anymore. It's going to get everywhere. And so I don't like that. Yeah. Like, eight yeah. three-year-olds. The eight. Yeah. <laughs> That's well, so how many, how many How many three-year-olds does it take to... to Speaking of three-year-olds... Did I have octuplets? <laughs> uh, but, but, like, a uh, uh, quick little sand thing. Uh, so the difference between sand and, like, other I, things. I think they call that quicksand. Well, we'll talk. Quick, quick little sand, sand thing. Well, yeah. This little kid just runs up to me uh, outside and when I was in the daycare and he just goes, Hey, Raj. I'm like, what? I open my hand and he goes, Here you go. It's a gift for you. It's and it's just a, a bunch of sand. You. So it's not sand. It's a gift, you know? Uh-huh. Yeah. But I immediately like, threw it over my shoulder. Yeah, it is sand, though. It is still sand. I never know what to do. Kids often give me, like, little containers shit. of sand yeah. and they're just like, Here's a pie. I'm like, oh, yummy. I'm going to eat this right now. And I just like like pour it over my shoulder. Yeah. And you're yeah. like, how long before they forget that this is something that they care about? Exactly. Like, yeah, I have to be careful because like sometimes I'll like I'll, I'll pour out their food and they're mm-hmm. like, what the fuck? And, I, and some kids are like, I'll pour it out. And they're just like, oh, you ate that well. <laughs> <laughs> mm, wow. You'll grow big and strong. Some children That's are a quote cool, that happened today. This little girl, she was like, you're going to be big and strong. How tall are you? I'm like 5'9". She's like, oh, oh you're, you're, you're going to be like 7 by next year. <laughs> you're going to be like 7. <laughs> you're going to grow big and strong. How tall are you, 5'9"? Um, okay, you're going to grow strong at least. <laughs> um, Fuck you, kid. You're three. <laughs> I could step on you. Anyways. <laughs> Kabuto <laughs> insists that his identity was only discovered because he wanted to see what the leaf's response would be. Yeah, and bro. That's yeah, totally. It. Yeah, I know. Yeah. I know. Yeah. 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 Sure. Yeah. All according to my plan. <laughs> and that Sasuke's abduction and the leaf's destruction should both... Ooh. I know, nice rhyme. Wow. Do, do, do you know what, what Kabuto thought he was playing? You want to take a shot? Take a shot? <laughs> I'm going to go out on a limb and say that... Well, I would... Okay, the game, I would guess it's either checkers or chess. And if I had to put my finger on a dimension, mm-hmm. I would guess somewhere between three and five. <laughs> <laughs> Close. Close. He's playing Mahjong. <laughs> <laughs> wow, a multi-episode setup. Wow. I think I'll write that in our episode description, right? Also, Raj pays off multiple episodes <laughs> of build-up in a punchline. Um, can I? Can you? Can my shtick be 5D checkers? If you make it that way. I'll, t- I'll, t- I'll set you up again. So basically, uh, Kabuto believes that him being discovered, failing Sasuke's abduction, it's not going to affect the destruction mm-hmm. of the leaf. I don't, I don't know where to go from there. It can't be my shtick. Well, this I'm is where you jump in from a trampoline, do like six backflips and go, oh, Kabuto is deaf playing 5D checkers. That's you know? it. That's but why Raj has been bringing a trampoline to our recording. All yeah. times. You haven't been wondering. I don't have that. a chair. I have a trampoline. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I, I don't question Raj. Raj is far too powerful for me to question. I'm yeah. just an entity. I just exist. A I, powerful fucking entity. A body double who can actually project into Katie's body. It's kind of crazy. Yeah. I didn't power. Know. Wait, so, I'm sorry. So, okay. So, at this point, is Katie, you're, okay, you're a hollow body double mm-hmm. that Katie Katie is hiding into. Yes. What? And then, and then <laughs> like Voltron, and then you two are combining to control Katie's actual body, but the yeah. actual Raj is somewhere else controlling the Katie inside of the body double of Raj, yes. which is controlling the Katie that's on the podcast. Well, I was hungry. I didn't want to debate between either eating or Naruto, mm-hmm. so I had to... Eat So Katie? he's up... Oh, my... <laughs> But don't give me the idea. The body double's bad shit. I might eat Katie. I don't care. I mean, it's just, it's just an astral projection. if Katie's actually inside of you... I'm not you, here, then... yeah. In a way, Katie was so you eaten by you me. all along. <laughs> and Liam and I are here. Yeah. Short. Here you ever wonder why there's like a ton of shit under my bed? Yeah. If you move it six feet down. It's Katie. Well, yeah. There's like a little hole. It's like fucking Dracula. And out of context, if someone who like wasn't hearing this podcast, yeah. they'd think I'm like burying you alive. Mm-hmm. Like yeah. I would go to jail. But, uh-huh. So hopefully no one isolates that and puts it on Twitter. Oh, know? yeah. Guys, yeah. don't send me to jail for that. Yeah, guys, come on. <laughs> I can't believe nobody called out that thing last week where I talked about fingering for like 20 seconds. Yeah. <laughs> I was watching our comments so closely. I was like, God, please no one mention how weird that please was. Please not. <laughs> um, and we got away with it, so I guess we can say anything on here. Really, anything. <laughs> yeah. Katie, if you could say anything right now, what would you say? Don't say the N-word. I know you roomed with Emma last year, but you can't. <laughs> Sorry. What would you say? Oh, I was just gonna say the word anything because I'm not funny. Mm. <laughs> Anything's a funny word. Yeah. If you really think about it, it, it could be anything. Mm. <laughs> yes! Uh, yes! Yeah. Um, where the fuck were we? All right. Baki. 
<laughs> Bobby notes that the Sand Village is reluctant to act, and that they're going to wait until the Sound Village makes its move on their Kanoha Crush We're operation. Like Ooh. the first five minutes of this episode. Yeah. <laughs> oh yeah. Although here's the thing: two things happen in this episode. Well, actually, I think literally three events happen. Yeah. So it's really fine. Um. <laughs> Kabuto imparts an instructional scroll onto Baki, reminding him to inform the Sand siblings of the plan as soon as possible. With this, Kabuto moves to leave. As Hayate prepares to escape, Kabuto declares, I'll take care of the spy. Oh, oh shit! Oh, no. But Baki's like, nah, nah, bruh. I got this. As a, as a token of the Sand Village's goodwill. I will kill this guy. Yeah, yeah. No, 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 this murder's not gonna be a problem. <laughs> Hayate books it, but Baki gains on him quickly, stopping his escape. Hayate draws his blade and runs towards his foe, unleashing his crescent moon dance jutsu. Finally a cool move. Yeah, yeah. A cool that, name. He's got a sword. Yeah, it's, 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 sword's crazy. Yeah. He, he like, transport. I guess all it does, though, is put him above Baki. Yeah. It's basically just a jump. <laughs> but, but Hayate plummets down and slices into Baki's shoulder, only to find his sword stuck. Baki commends Hayate on his mastery of such an advanced jutsu. It's a jump, but it's a sure. Jump. <laughs> at such a, yeah. It's an advanced jutsu. Yeah, he's got mad hops, you know? Mad um, hops. But at such a young age. Like a good Why do you talk like that? I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> mad hops? Yeah, no, because like I, was, I was setting Morgan up to say, I was hoping that you would pick up on that and, and, and say, like a, like a good IPA or a good... That's mm-hmm. a good IPA. Yeah, like a... I don't, I don't believe you because I think I would. Uh, never mind. I was gonna say I would know the least about alcohol. Beer, but, but, I, but I, I think like that's a... not true because Raj is water also only, only and water. Katie is and straight edge. Also straight edge. <laughs> and I'm not not more oblivious than you. So... Yeah. <laughs> I, to be fair, to be fair, as a kid, I had a huge phase of watching Bar Rescue. Oh my god, I thought you were gonna say drinking. I was an alcoholic when I was four, <laughs> but. Have you guys ever seen the show Bar Rescue? Yeah, I that know. shit is. John no. Taffer is a legend. What is Bar Rescue? So it, it, it's you know Gordon Ramsay's like yeah. nightmare kitchen. Love nightmares? it. No, yeah. So it. it's like that, but with bars. Okay, bet. And it's it's funny because these bars are it's Spike TV, so they're not on some Fox like men's like, TV. It's men's Dude, TV. Spike TV commercials are my favorite thing in the world because it's like explosion and booze and stuff. It's like, <laughs> Spike, what Raj's kid would watch at Make Out Point. <laughs> <laughs> Honestly. <laughs> Dude, did we give your kid a name yet? No, I was going to talk about that. I hate naming things. Like, the fact that you guys are going to play and you have names. Yeah. That's so... Like, I can't name someone and go, oh, you're going to be Rick. Like, you named I, his girlfriend uh, Jessica. Well, uh, I named the girlfriend. Oh, you named did? Jessica. Chad. Yeah. Oh. Chad. Yeah, yeah, Chad's too, like, because he is a Chad. You yeah. Know? Chadwick. Are you, I'm sorry, are you just naming rhymes? No. I'm a big fan of the name Jamie. I've always been a strong supporter of Jamie. All right. Oh, I love I the name Jamie, Jamie I think I hate the name Jamie, but just because of the last five years. What happened over the last five years? Oh, that's a thing. I'm sorry. I thought you were saying the last five years of my life I've been haunted by Jamie. <laughs> <laughs> like the sixth sense. It's just another fucking ghost watching you. I didn't mean, I did mean the musical, but that too. Yeah, I was the like, musical called actually, Jamie? No. <laughs> <laughs> sorry. Um, no, but I do have a friend at home whose name is Jamie. That is, He's definitely not listening to this, but if you are, hey, buddy. Send him a link. Be like, hey, Jamie. We he t- probably would. I think he Hey, Jamie, you're shit talking you on this episode. If you want to listen. Not even shit. We, no, we shit talk to people on here. Oh, yeah, his dad's have. like famous, kind of. Hey, have him plug us, you know? Not that famous. Wait, is he like Syracuse <laughs> famous where he's yeah. famous for like his trees and stuff? Oh, yeah. No, his no he's in a band. Oh, oh like Syracuse and it's band. trees. <laughs> what else do we have stuff. there? It's just constantly like like a bright yellow and there's trees and white people. Bright orange. Have you but been other to Syracuse? That, no. Nope. <laughs> <laughs> because Congrats, I don't think they existed until like a week ago. Syracuse is solidly bright gray. Orange. Syracuse U. SU. Oh, it's we very don't talk orange, about SU. Yeah. Oh, okay. For people that are listening, SU. you probably don't know, but there's major drama at SU right now because for the past two weeks there's been a people... lot of swastikas being drawn everywhere. Yeah, yeah. And like I think people somebody, know about that. It's... Somebody, well, yeah, but I don't. Maybe not. Like that that happened listening. here last year. Yeah, yeah. That was the only time my my older sister has contacted me like since then. We, we just don't talk, but like that happened and yeah. it came on her Facebook and she was like. Hey, what's going on? Like, oh, don't, don't even it's, worry. It's an art. It's, it's, a, it's a thing. But like at Syracuse yeah. in upstate New York, and remember, the more north you go in New York, the more, more south Nazis, you get. Yeah, yeah exactly. Yeah. Um, somebody sent in recently like a manifesto mm. um, that was racist yeah. and anti-Semitic saying yeah. that, and it was a manifesto that I think was either based off of or very similar to one in New Zealand 
where a guy actually shot. Oh him yeah, in school. yeah, yeah. The 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 yeah. So that's been happening, and <laughs> that's not great. That's not, not great at all. Yeah, yeah, and like I don't know all of it, obviously, because I'm not home and I haven't had yeah, yeah. a ton of opportunity. You're also not a Nazi. In. I I would assume you would mm-hmm. like, keep up with that stuff. That's yeah, true. but I, I would. Like, I'm yeah. not. I, I never check in when they're talking to the white people group chat. <laughs> <laughs> you're like you're like oh yeah that's funny where she's around. Oh wait that's a swastika. Oh yeah, yeah. yeah I'm not gonna say no, that. No, but one. um, <laughs> it's definitely a problem. So we don't. Yeah. Syracuse what? University. You know what else is a problem? Having a... Are you trying to throw back to the outline? Uh, yeah. Having a sword stuck in your shoulder. That, that sucks! Yes! That's the worst it does problem! Suck. Um, but not so much for Baki because he's like, oh, physical swords present little challenge. And then he throws out... He throws up two fingers and he like swirls the air around him and he's like, I wonder if you can say the same about a sword made out of wind! <laughs> Which is... It's, like, it's such a Phantom of the Opera thing. <laughs> yeah, it's crazy. You have a sword? How about a wind sword? Yeah. <laughs> and then we cut away. We cut away. We don't, we don't, we don't know what happens. Oh, we cut away to a waterfall. And uh, three girls splashing around in their bikinis. I hate this. I, there's, in, 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 in both of these episodes, and also next week's episodes, because we're recording two episodes back to back, there's so many girls in bikinis um, just everywhere. I will yeah. say, though, I, I did expect them to be naked. Okay. So I was very comforted by the fact that they yeah. at least had some sort of something on. Remember, this was all on Cartoon Network. Uh-huh. Uh, yeah, fair enough. And? <laughs> all right, I'm glad you How many it. times was Naruto naked? In last week's episodes. That's very true. That's true. But yeah, these girls are splashing around playing in the basin of the waterfall. Is that what it's called? A basin? A basin. That is it, yeah. That's right. I thought you said the basement. And I was like, what? In the basement of the waterfall. That's what yeah, it's called. I would love a waterfall in the basement. <laughs> Dude. Or well, I would love a basement. You personal. walk through the waterfall and then there's like a staircase and you go down into like to the a secret lair. Of the waterfall. Yeah. Oh, yeah. The Phantom of the Opera? Yeah, it all connects. So like you would look at like uh, like like Bruce Wayne's manor be like definitely a cave down there but oh, like yeah. a waterfall like that's just a waterfall exactly yeah because what worst guy wouldn't yeah. have a waterfall somewhere would you expect to go near a rich person's waterfall no oh, I would um, never go near a rich person's waterfall I went exactly. near a rich person's waterfall In well you're white yeah <laughs> I was gonna say are you what's that face <laughs> are you not white <laughs> oh my god Morgan <laughs> straight up tell me what are you oh, no I'm pretty white oh, damn. but I'm Italian white <laughs> that's white, that's white. It's, it's white now yeah. maybe, maybe not in like the 50s but, yeah. like, Italian white is white now. Yeah, oh, well, yes. Yeah. But I'm Italian white. I think... I was just saying that because I like to flex about the fact that I'm Italian. Oh, right, 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 yeah. Not saying that I'm not white. I'm very white. It's interesting. Like, new white gets cycled in to... to, to, to new white. white. Yeah, yeah, because, like, because like uh, for a while, people were discriminating against the Irish, but now Irish is as white as you can oh, be, yeah, yeah. you know? And, yeah. then, and then, like, Italian, but they're they're up there now, mm-hmm. you know? Yeah. And just the... They get into the group chat, ostensibly. I guess overall, they... we're all white on the inside. <laughs> Stop racism. <laughs> Actually, we're, we're all, all the same. Actually, on the we're all pink and squishy on the inside and wet. Mm. Well, well, actually, on the, the inside of Raj, it's Katie. So. I am. It, oh yeah. yeah. But on the true. inside of the Katie inside of Raj. No, it's it's a little. It's tiny. wiring. No, Katie's just like yeah, because yeah. I'm a robot. It's a little tiny. I'm pink Eddie and squishy Murphy's. on the outside. Like from that movie, Meet Dave. <laughs> Are you also wet on the outside? Because that's no. where I was uh, going with that. I, I don't want to hear about that. There's a family. She's family. in me. Stop. It's <laughs> moist in here. She's in me. Stop. Come. It's moist in here. <laughs> so for those of you trying to make an art talk hentai, isolate that on you. It's so good for that. God. I don't want to run us a fan fiction yet. I know. What the fuck? I want to have sex, guys. Come on. But you know what you <laughs> could write a fanfic about? What? What's about to happen in this yeah. outline? Yeah, okay, you could... Whoa! Well, okay, so you could write a fanfic about how Jiraiya is too horny to pay attention when... and and Because he's staring at the girls in the bushes, and Naruto's like, Hey, stop doing that. Please, you fucking you're creepy. Weirdo. Yeah. So, um, but Jiraiya's like, No, I'm, I'm busy. I've got a boner right now. Leave Imagine me being called out by a 12-year-old boy. I know! Because oh 12-year-old boys are like the horniest motherfuckers Miley's in the world. Miley's performance in these episodes is so fucking funny. Yeah. Her sass goes through the fucking roof. She went crazy. <laughs> yeah, she's yeah. sassy as fuck. I know. Um, but Jiraiya's like, No, I'm busy watching. So Naruto uses sexy jutsu and covers Jiraiya's eyes. And he's like, Ooh, big boy, turn around and j- train me. <laughs> Full body cringe. Just yeah, now. it's not great. But when Jiraiya turns around, it's back to regular old 12 year old boy Naruto Jiraiya wonders if Naruto is mocking him but Naruto's like listen buddy there's nothing funny about this yeah. situation <laughs> at all which is such a good line mm-hmm. um, meanwhile the three girls head back to their hotel for food so Jiraiya decides to finally teach Naruto that new technique they were talking about last week oh that's terrifying they're like probably visiting like the leaf village yeah yeah they're like tourists dude that's like like another layer of creepy yeah like Jiraiya's just hunting down these tourists are you sick? Uh, yeah I'm, I'm always sick oh <sighs> Bro, I'm so sorry. I've been sick for the past mm. forever. Damn, I would have brought you one of those uh, drugs that you tried to pop that one time, my Allegra. 
I would actually love Allegra. I have, I have Allegra in my room, and one time Rush was like, "Bro, do you have any drugs?" And I was like, "I have Allegra," and he was like, "I'll pop some of that." I'll go crazy. Like, oh, Which that. is in contrast like of drugs. now. Like last year, like I thought Allegra was hard, but now I'm doing like Coke and Molly, and it's yeah. like, whoa. And I'd rather stick with the Molly. Yeah. Well, you say that now, but would just you wait until Allegra clears up your nose, and you'll be like, "Damn, and damn." Breathe again to start. Well, more actually, coke. no. Coke sucked because I did it when I was really sick, and it like, clogged up my my nostril. Yeah. yeah. I was like, "Well, not only am I am I not having fun, my nostrils closed a second time." Yeah, I would say Coke is in the steer clear category of. Did drugs. you pass out though? No, no. All I do was kind of stare myself in the mirror while like the the light uh, above it, the fluorescent light in my bathroom flashed. Yeah. Like, it like zips and zaps and like. Buzzes. It flickers. Too. It flickers. That's yeah. the word. There's zaps like, and you buzzes. Zip, zap, zap. I did flickers. the onomatopoeia <laughs> for all of them. A, I feel like there's a spectrum of drugs though, because it's like it's like the do's: weed, acid, mushrooms, Molly. Yeah. The if you're at a party, once coke. Yeah. And then the do nots, which is like crack, meth, heroin. Yeah. Well, don't do Molly. I, I like I. I because you're addicted to it now. Yeah, <laughs> which is terrifying. I, I got. I'm not addicted to nicotine or uh. cigarettes. Like I, I, I can go without that. I, or even weed. I really just don't need it. But like I did Molly like once, and I think about it all the time. Yeah. It is so good. That's troublesome. Wow. Yeah. Troublesome. If you guys should send me Molly, that'd be cool. I don't know if it's bad. Well, customs would probably take it, but you, you could try. Yeah, yeah. Or you know, if you're if you're if you're uh, nearby, just swing swing by. Swing some Molly. Drop us off some ecstasy. That'd be that'd be good stuff. You know. I hope so. You can bring me some herbal tea. <laughs> yeah, and put the molly in it, and then we'll take out the molly and, and give you the... The empty tea bag? The tea bag will be filled with molly. They won't ever see, see I it. Don't, so then I don't want to see the empty tea bag. So I don't want to oh, see yeah. molly. Well, well <laughs> you say that now. But wait until you <laughs> wait see you try the molly, yeah. <laughs> um, where, okay. Uh, Jiraiya instructs Naruto <laughs> to build up that red chakra, but when Naruto closes his eyes and focuses, he's only able to build up his typical blue chakra. Jiraiya calls Jiraiya? Jiraiya. Whatever. Jiraiya. Jiraiya. Calls, <laughs> yeah, Shakespeare. Call it Naruto talent lists. <laughs> but Naruto says he can't help it, as he doesn't even really understand the difference between the red and blue chakra anyway. Jiraiya instructs Naruto to keep trying, and while the Genin focuses, Jiraiya considers that imminent danger and strong emotion seem to be the triggers for the Nine Tails chakra activation. Naruto sighs, once again failing to draw upon the demon's power, and wonders why he needs to utilize the red chakra in the first place. Jiraiya insists that for the new technique he's going to teach Naruto, the boy will need more chakra than what he can muster with his standard blue chakra alone. Jiraiya continues, and this is uh, sort of interesting because Naruto has been told this whole time that he needs to learn how to like control his chakra and only use a little bit for every move. But Jiraiya believes that because Naruto has two chakra sources and immense stamina, instead of trying to like hold back and learn how to control his chakra, Naruto should be pushing himself to use this massive reserve that he has and learn more powerful techniques like the summoning jutsu. Mm -hmm. You guys ever um, do that thing where you're like supposed to be following along and reading, mm -hmm. but you lose your place and yeah. then they say the one word and you're like, oh, that's where we are. Yeah. The word muster. That's what got me back on muster. track. Muster? Yeah. Wow. I was looking through the summary and I was like, fuck, fuck, fuck. And then you said muster. I was like, oh, there it is. I see muster. <laughs> there it is. <laughs> yeah. But uh, I think this is the first time that it's that it's revealed that what Naruto is learning is the summoning jutsu, which uh, uh, we've seen a couple times before. Orochimaru summons a snake. Kakashi summons Big dogs. Snakes. Big dogs. Yeah, man. And Big small old dog. Which is weird. Does that mean Kiba just kind of forces Akamaru to just do shit like yeah he could, there, he, like, like a pokeball could just not be there yeah he could just send him away but instead he's like akamara this is a full-time job i need a friend i need a friend <laughs> i'm stinky no one will talk <laughs> <laughs> jiraiya explains that to use a summoning jutsu one must sign a contract in blood with something Ugh. hated that yeah i hate yeah. they keep doing this. this is a gimmick they constantly where they bite their fucking mm -hmm. thumb i, I hate that. it's and, the crunchy sound yeah yeah, yeah. yeah. And, and, and this sort of that. explains why, because that blood then can be used to teleport that thing to mm -hmm. you using ninjutsu. Before Jiraiya teaches Naruto this technique, he instructs the boy to run all out of his normal chakra. To do this, Naruto creates as many clones as he can and initiates a battle royale between all of them to determine the most Naruto Naruto. Which is, that's funny. That's good. Yeah, I like that a lot. It's cute. It's cute. Um, I like how Jir Jiraiya's like, man, I'd rather be watching ladies, but I guess I'll watch all these little boys instead. In my brain, I definitely <laughs> thought he was going to do the... Sexy harem jutsu. Oh yeah. And then fight them. Oh, that'd be. Which would have been. Oh, true. That would actually <laughs> waste a shock a lot faster. Yeah, yeah actually, two jutsu. Yeah. smarter. Yeah. But, so, uh... so, some, some, somebody get on animating that for a friend. <laughs> a friend. Stop. Oh my gosh. <laughs>
Um, no, but uh, Jiraiya sets up a little umbrella and a towel to sort of wait it out, which is funny. This guy's know. always ready to camp out. I know, so, yeah. well, because he was there to camp out and check yeah, out the ladies. Out, yeah. I just don't get, like, what the point of it is. He's well, It's established he's not jerking off when we see him, mm. you know? So Well, you say that, but a well, lot of these call, shots yeah. are from the waist up. <laughs> <laughs> that is true. He's holding the umbrella in front of his cross. It's just one like, of those things where it's like, what are you doing? Yeah. How do you spend your time just staring at like girls? Just yeah. Being, like, what? Go read a book. Well, he's writing. Oh, books. he is writing. A yeah, book. yeah. Oh, that insult of mine doesn't work anymore. Oh no, oh, shit. guys, I've oh, never been God. faced with this. I've never met anyone who reads books. <laughs> <laughs> When um when all of Naruto's clones have been defeated, it's just the real Naruto left, and he collapses from exhaustion. But he regains his energy when Jiraiya goes over and reveals that he can now teach Naruto the summoning jutsu. Jiraiya demonstrates the technique first, biting his thumb, as we said, mm-hmm. and smearing its blood across his palm. Yeah, then he slams the palm into the ground and summons a giant toad, which is holding a scroll in its mouth. The toad uses its tongue to extend the scroll to Naruto, and Jiraiya reveals that the, the on the scroll is is a summoning, um, like a like a contract, mm-hmm. which has been handed down for generations to summon toads. It's weird that that's like a thing. Yeah, that's a. <laughs> but a all which right. is kind of weird to me mm-hmm. because it's the summoning jutsu, but yeah. like not anybody can like learn it. Like, you have to learn it, but also you have to, like, sign, sign this contract with yeah. your blood. Because I guess maybe the summoning jutsu is the same, like, no matter what signs you weave, and what you summon is dependent on who you have a su- contract signed with. Which is weird. Yeah. So Richmore yeah. had to meet a snake. Yeah, and, and he be was like, like, hey, can you sign this contract? No, he had to oh, dude, he was, uh, uh, he was Eve. Mm. He met the snake. Oh, yeah. He, mm. Mm. No, but he had to meet the fucking Toad Sage. Mm, yeah. So oh, he had to meet Orochimaru? Oh, no. Orochimaru might be... Or the... Not the Toad Sage. The Snake Sage. But oh, Orochimaru yeah. might be the Snake Sage. Oh. Yo. Because fucking... Oh. What's his name? But he's just a snake Jiraiya is, 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 is a Toad Sage. sage. So yeah, I guess so it's not Orochimaru impossible to think that Orochimaru... Sage. Uh, we don't know if there is such a thing as Snake Sage. Or Serpent Sage, because that sounds cooler than Snake Sage. Yeah, no, I like Snake Sage. Snake Sage. What does that mean? Why'd you look at me like that? I'm a little hurt. <laughs> We're even. You snake sage. Even bit. for what? When did I You cancelled me! Well, I like twice! <laughs> Do that to everyone. Come now on. we're even though. It's not even even. That you like that's like I like pricked your finger. You shot me in the face. And now you can use that blood to summon a snake. <laughs> oh, no, and I will attach you with a snake. <laughs> <laughs> she'll 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 come back with a serpent though, so it's like Fuck. Yeah. Um, I'll come back with a legless lizard. That that <laughs> that is an excellent point, though, that uh, Orochimaru could be a snake sage. I've... Hmm. Serpent sage? Clever. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Serpent um, sage. I yeah. wonder if that's, that's true. And they're both just... In that, case, that. in that case, would that mean that Tsunade is a sage of something? I mean, we haven't met her, obviously, mm. but like... Yeah, like centipedes. some kind of... <laughs> Those giant oh, centipedes right. when yeah. you come back? Sage. Could be. Oh my gosh. Or maybe, what else have we seen summoned? Dogs, I guess? Dog sage. Dude, a dog sage would be dope as hell. Yeah. I would be dog I would be sage. Yeah, I would love to be dog sage. Oh my god. So, for everybody listening, I got a new puppy, uh-huh. um, and she's the oh, cutest she's thing in the so... whole wide world. Imagine if you could just summon her here. I would summon the shit out of you her. You would bite your thumb to, to, to I get. would summon anchovy sandwich in a heartbeat. Mm-hmm. That is my dog's name for everybody. And it's an excellent name for a dog. I would summon, like, a really stressed out hamster who kind of just, like, sits there. <laughs> He's just constantly stressed about something. Sits there and runs on the wheel for a little bit and sits on the edge of the wheel and holds its head in its hands. I yes. feel like it's that's like, very <laughs> analogous to Raj. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> a stressed out hamster. That's his picture in the Discord. <laughs> I love that photo so oh, much. So Have you guys seen the full photo? No. Okay, no. so it's just it's it's a hamster sitting there, and on the it's on the top and bottom, it's top text, bottom text. It goes, I can't do this anymore. Seriously, I just can't. Or like some shit like yeah, that. Yeah, yeah. Oh, just, I can't handle it anymore. And Seriously, it just, I just can't. a hamster. And and I love just the hamster photo because people who know that full image see just the hamster and are like, oh no, like uh, he can't do it anymore. He just he just, just can't. can't. <laughs> but I love that. Sometimes a hamster in my head stops running. Yeah. Oh, that would be a good summon, though. Yeah. Yeah. Um, Naruto signs his name, he, you know, bites his finger and writes mm-hmm. his name in blood on the contract, yeah. and then, it's, it's like, presses all of his fingers to the bloody thumb, and uh. then presses them all down so all his fingerprints are on the crazy. He's, like, that. literate. You would have to... Isn't that crazy? <laughs> that Naruto can, like, read and write? Yeah. You would have to yeah. bite your thumb mm-hmm. so hard. No, I know, because I've yeah. tried so many times when I was a kid. Well, it's much... a chakra bite. Oh, yeah, you put a little chakra in your so You know, like, the game where, you, like, even if you do the chakra and you throw the, the kunai, it's like a blue kunai? Yeah, like yeah. That. you infuse chakra with your... Wow. Like, but like, even then, it like well in, in human terms, hurts. it's still hard. Well, yeah, oh, yeah. How do you think Naruto eats all the ramen? He has to like use chakra to unhinge his jaw. Mm, that shit so, is yeah. not human. But if, if it wasn't for my lips, I could unhinge my jaw easy. Well, 
Yeah, I mean, like, if it wasn't for your jaw being hinged, you could also... My jaw isn't hinged! Yeah. Really? Yeah, no, my jaw's broken, guys. Oh, it's been broken TMJ. for, like, four years. Well, what'd you say? Oh. I said, do you have TMJ? What's what TMJ? What's TMJ? It's when your jaw locks. Too much jaw. Oh, like, yeah, my... Do you my have too much jaw? Uh, yeah, no, my, my jaw locks sometimes. And sometimes it just won't, it, like, it's broken. Like, there's a definite problem in my jaw that's coming up soon. Like, I'm gonna just not have a bottom mouth. Damn. But a wait. bottom mouth? Coming up soon, Raj with no <laughs> bottom mouth. I said that like you were about to throw in another news segment. <laughs> and now we go live to Raj with no jaw. <laughs> 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 no, he's, 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 like, tongue freaking I'm really out. unimportant, but really funny, because uh-huh. I just thought of it at the face that Raj just made. Mm-hmm. So my dad snores a lot. Sure. All of my funny stories are about my dad. I love it. Bring, bring, it, bring it. He snores a lot. Um, but when he's, he would fall asleep in his chair in our living room, mm-hmm. and his mouth would fall open. That is snore. such... That is such an iconic old white guy thing. His I just chair. want to say it's having... a recliner and it's a massage chair. Of course chair it is. Yeah, yeah. Got, I've known old white guys. Head. I have a grandfather. Um, yeah, I have a dad. Um, <laughs> right, fair. Uh, but his jaw would drop open, and like you cannot wake him up for shit. Mm-hmm. So one day when I was like fifteen or sixteen, I was like. I'm gonna be a jackass. Um, and I'm gonna make fucking him jaw. And I'm, gonna, <laughs> <laughs> rip it off. I'm gonna make him look like Jacob Marley, and I tied his jaw closed. Holy shit! And he stayed asleep. Wow, that's torture. <laughs> that's a horrifying um, prank. Yeah. <laughs> and then I woke him up and I was like, Dad. I tied and his jaw closed like and a... plugged his nose. <laughs> <laughs> I had a knife to his throat. <laughs> Dad, wake up! It was Help like her. a silk. It was like a baby blue and white polka dot silk <laughs> hair scarf. Cute. And I tied his jaw closed, and my mom and I laughed about it for a long time. I love it. I love it. Um, what, 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 what a fun little prank. So, Raj, if you ever don't have a bottom mouth, I'll, mm, I'll tie you your jaw nice closed for bow. you. Thank you. I've always wanted to rock the bow look. I yeah. can't do headbands right, and I can't really do bandanas either. Mm-hmm. But I've always wanted to just have that thing where you, like, put it up and... It like like clips, yeah, just like little tiny clips. Yeah, mm. I, I always imagine my hair looking cooler with what I do with it than what ends up happening. You should French braid your hair. I have clips. Um, I don't know. You Anytime have people, a lot of options thrown at you. <laughs> yeah. Anytime people meet me, it's kind of like a pet peeve of mine. They'll like say they'll want to braid my hair before they like talk to me. And oh, yeah. the That's thing is, weird. I give everyone one single chance to braid my hair. If they ask, you'll get one chance to do it. And if I hate it, you like you, you can't tear do it off again. their jaw. There's never been. Uh, yeah, essentially. Yeah. That's why I still have a jaw. I like keep feeding myself the power of other people's jaws. Right, right. But <laughs> it keeps falling off. And you just slam on someone else's. <laughs> <laughs> but uh, I, I've always had the stipulation: if I like it, if I like what you do my hair, you can keep doing it. Mm. To this day, out of like the seven years of my life, no one has gotten a second chance Damn. ever. The one oh. person who was like, "Hey, can I curl your hair?" Uh, instantly, I was like, "Yes, yes, you, you so can." Yeah. Because you, you know s- who I bet could braid your hair pretty well? Who? The voice of Ash Ketchum, Sarah Natacheni. Oh, that because wonderful person. When we went up to Sarah, she was, like, super cool about your hair. Sarah was, like, the coolest person. Like, I haven't met many voice actor people, actress people, but... Actors people? Is there, is there a gender neutral term for voice? I think for... I think... The, I, okay, VA, I don't know. Last no. time I checked it, the, the, <laughs> the wave with actor is that everyone's an actor. Yeah. And we don't say actress anymore. Okay, we're... Yeah. Well, I'll just say VA. Yeah, yeah. So the VA of Ash Ketchum, stupid cool. Yeah. Like, insane. They, they commented my hair... And they didn't touch it, which is so awesome. Yeah. A lot of people go, wow, cool hair, and then they'll rake the shit out of my, out of my head. It's so like, why are you touching me? Yeah. Uh, but they, I told them my whole hair routine, and they were listening, and it was, it was, it was so, such a nice person. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Um, Your mom's more, cool, too. For, for more on that, <laughs> listen to the episode January 6th, where Raj and I talk about Anime NYC. Ooh. Um, oh, that's so many. I know, it's so long from yeah, now. Yeah, I want to um, know about Anime NYC. <laughs> well, listen, January 6th. Um, anyways. <laughs> Jiraiya just tries to... No, no, not Jiraiya. Naruto. He's got all the blood down. He stands up and he weaves the signs that Jiraiya taught him, attempting to draw upon the strength of the Nine Tails, slams his hand in the ground, and successfully summons a tadpole. Yes. Yes. <laughs> little um, guy's flopping around. It is around. pretty cute. Yeah, it just it's, it flops around lamely. And it's Jiraiya, not cute. He's dying. The tadpole? They need to be in water. Oh, yeah. But it does look kind of cute. It is cute, as, but as, it's Because Jiraiya and Naruto, like, kneel next to it, and they're like, and Naruto's like, hey, it's a tadpole. And Jiraiya's like, you fucking suck. <laughs> You're supposed to summon a toad. And they sort of joke around. And then it cuts back to the main village. And we see the roof where Hayate battled Baki, and crows are flocking around and pecking at his corpse, while five Anbu investigate the bloody scene. And that's the end of episode 54. Okay. He's the proctor with the cough, right? That's what, yeah, so that, okay. that's what I want to bring up. We, we never got the gimmick. Yeah, we don't What's know why he coughing? coughs. Yeah. yeah. Um, oh, yeah. I they was just assuming they would explain but, that. I guess just cigarettes. Also, they never really question the fact that our little furry mummy boy is dead. Mm. 
Yeah, he's... They only talk about him. He's from the sound Oh, village. yeah. Like, yeah, but, like, nobody's ever uh, like, oh, this other guy was also dead really close wait, by. Wait, does, does that fix the bracket for the genie exam? Yes, it does. Oh, oh, yeah. Oh. yeah, that means that now... But they didn't talk about it, so we don't know that <laughs> technically. <laughs> yeah, they, they, I, th- I assume they'll talk about it in the finals, but, yeah, that means that now Shikamaru is going to fight Tamari uh, in the first fight. Right? Uh, uh, yeah. 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 It'll go. Okay. Yeah. Naruto, Neji, Sasuke, Gara. Are they going to be told that? What? Like, are they going to be told who to prepare for? Like, well, they were told they ahead of time. Yeah, well, they but were, now but now, but now um, he's dead. that guy's dead. They don't talk well, about it. The whole gimmick was you were all, you, you, everyone saw each other. And that's why they're supposed to pick randomly. So you're supposed to just be ready for fighting any single person. That's why everyone was just like, oh, I hope we don't get Gara. Which is yeah. true, but they are all specifically them. preparing for, for their, first their first fight. fight like is. a little bit, you know? Yeah. Oh. And so now Shikamaru's at like this huge disadvantage. He's going to go in with like earplugs. Well, he never had an advantage. Yeah, that's true. He, he wasn't going to prepare. <laughs> he doesn't anyway. care. Well, Shikamaru, of all people to prepare, it's in not him. In this specific <laughs> inch- instance, it's, it's fine. Like, yeah, it, he yeah. does not. He's <laughs> smoking a cigarette. They probably did that on purpose. What? What? You think Shikamaru got Dosu killed? Like a little no. shadow possession? Walked up to Gara. Just so that he could have an easier first match. No. <laughs> he would go to all the extra effort just to not deal with a little yeah, effort. Yeah, dude, the amount of work I have put into cheating on tests. Could, I'm saying, could, yeah. I could have studied for a thousand tests. A thousand tests. <laughs> yeah. I'd rather just cheat. Oh, yeah. No, most definitely. Thank you all the cheaters before us, though. Like, I really should, like, I cheat a lot. And a lot of the answers are from online, like, uh, like tests and stuff that people, like, fill in. Yeah. Oh, when you search one answer for a paper. Oh, and the whole, whole paper. Comes mm. out. Ooh. 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 <laughs> God, <laughs> God bless professors that don't bother writing questions and get them from offline. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, it's a beautiful thing. So, episode 55. We open at the waterfall Ooh. with more bikini-clad women. They just arrived, and Jiraiya instructs Naruto to continue training while he researches from the bushes. Yes, it's jerking off. Yep. Still, <laughs> Naruto can only summon a tadpole, and the two yell at each other for not focusing. Naruto on his chakra control, and Jiraiya on Naruto. Back in the village... Okay. I love Sakura. She's my favorite character in this fucking show. I don't really? know when that happened, <laughs> but just she's the only one with any goddamn sense. And this scene, yeah. I was like, this poor... Girl, yeah. so my favorite character was Dosu. But you know how that <laughs> ended, so. <laughs> Don't you hate that? Like, I, I'm watching, like, I, I love Master Chef, and there's always someone I'm always gunning for to win at yeah, the beginning, yeah, yeah, yeah. and then I always get killed by a giant sand monster. No, straight up, like, <laughs> like Goran turns to like a sand monster, kills them like episode four, and then you start slowly having to like pick your new favorites oh, yeah. until at the yeah. end it's just none of your favorites, and you're like, oh, well, I guess I hate everyone. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I, I, I mean, I watched Great Bridge Bake Off, but it's the same. Yeah, uh, uh, it shows I'm terrifying. Sorry. I'm it, sorry. Yeah, because especially I can't watch it after I, I think I've talked about it on here before but uh, I, Raj and I watched it high and I used to love Great British Bake Off then I watched it high and it like broke it yeah, for me that and shows I can't not, watch it anymore I want to be in the room where they like edit that it's because they're deaf smoking PCP like oh, they're yeah. not okay <laughs> you, know, you have to do some hard drugs to go back to Great British Bake Off if you watch it high <laughs> for real um, yeah so back in the village Sakura sits huddled up on her bed reliving her horrific experiences in the forest of death specifically regarding Orochimaru and worrying for Sasuke her mom calls her down to like help out and Sakura's like oh I'm I'm just I'm busy and her mom's like when are you not gonna be busy because her mom doesn't seem to understand that this poor fucking girl has PTSD yeah Yeah, she's 12 yeah Yeah, well I think I think 13 now I, the Hokage has a throwaway line where he's like the Nine Tails of Attack 13 years ago. I'm oh. Like, oh, shit, these kids grew up, I guess. Uh, well, all right. <laughs> but that yeah. doesn't matter in our 12 or 13. Yes. She's tween age. Whole, but regardless, PTSD. Yeah, yeah like yeah. the whole sequence of like that moment. Because I, I don't have PTSD, but mm-hmm. I like suffer from other mental health things, right, as right. you know, as, most as people we all do. do. Yeah, yeah. Um, but like the moment where she's just sitting in her bed. Yeah. Do we, with nothing around her. And then her mom's like, are you still asleep? Yeah. Like, what are you doing? And she's like, I wasn't asleep, Mom. Like, I'm she's busy. She's just wrestling with this horrific like, yeah. shit that she has. I think a lot of people, especially, like, kids. I, we're not really kids, but yeah. kids our age. Like, we've been there. We've been just sitting in our bed or laying in our bed, just yeah. kind of, like, broken. Mm-hmm. And I think the way that they did it, because if the, like, aesthetic of the animation, yeah. it's, like, this beautiful, like, sunny room. And it's, like, like, like... It feels just like so warm and mm-hmm. happy, but then she's just sitting there, reliving the broken, the, the, yeah, and like, yeah, it's 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 really sad, and 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 
yeah, like like Raji was saying, they're kids. They're little kids. Straight up. At the Hokage's office, the Jonin of the village have been summoned to discuss Hayate's death, not Tosu's. Anko is sure that Orochimaru was behind it, but Kakashi notes that the only link between the Proctor's death and the evil Sanin is that Hayate was spying on Kabuto. Okay, so there's this guy with like a birthmark from his ear to his uh, across his nose. Mm-hmm. We don't get his name or anything. I looked it up. It's Raido Namiyashi. Mm, Doesn't matter. Cares? Yeah. I'm, I just I could not say a leaf Jonin with a scar from his ear to his nose. Hey ninja. Yeah, I'm, just, I'm so sick of yeah. that. So Raido suggests canceling the tuning exams to focus on hunting down Orochimaru, but the third refuses, citing Orochimaru's threat to Anko and the terrorist's insistence that the exams continue. Furthermore, he reminds the Jonin that Orochimaru bears a grudge against the Leaf and that any village would be lucky to have his immeasurable strength on their side. Raido is sure that no village would break the Shinobi Alliance by working with Orochimaru to attack the Leaf, but Kakashi reminds him of the last great ninja war, which proved that the Alliance isn't absolute. What? Yeah, we, we, and actually this isn't, uh, actually I think it's next week's episodes that they have to talk a little more about it, but it sounds like there's been a war pretty recently. Mm-hmm. Like probably within the past, like, 13 years. Like probably since the Nine Tails attack. Mm. Yeah. Because it seems like some of the older kids, um, like, uh, I guess this is next week, but I think Tamari, like, talks a little bit about a war as if she can remember it. Yeah, yeah. she's older, she's Gar's older sister, so it's like, and Kakashi being like, well, we know the Alliance is an absolute because, you know? Uh, yeah. I was going to say she's a 90s kid, but this is in, like, the 1200s. So, like, it's just, <laughs> but she, she's a 90s kid of Naruto. Yeah, like a real one, too. Not like, oh, yeah, I know old Spongebob. She's like, yeah, I fucked with Doug. She, like, was, in, like, she was in, like, the 1190s. Yeah, mm-hmm. yeah, as opposed to the 1200s. You ever fuck with Doug? No, man, I'm not a 90s kid. No, I, 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 I like, I tried to Doug, fuck with I'm Doug. I'm really not a 90s kid. I got Crackle, because I was just broke. Love it. it was, like, free on Xbox. Yeah. And I, I was like, hmm, what are my great selections here? Oh, Comedians in Cars Getting Coffee, or Doug? <laughs> I, I guess I have and to, after like, watching them. all of Comedians in Cars Getting Coffee seven times. <laughs> Literally seven times. There's only so many times you can hear it, like, Jerry Seinfeld. <laughs> What's the deal with this car? <laughs> hey, you want some coffee? <laughs> I've never wanted to hear... Like, Jerry Seinfeld talk about two things less in my life. Than coffee and cars? Yeah, literally. Yeah. What about comedians? Well, sometimes they're cool. Yeah, the comedians are cool. Obama's my favorite comedian yeah. that he had on there. He was actually on there. Wasn't so much a comedian, but... Well, actually, Obama's pretty funny. Yeah, he's, he's a funny. wacky guy. Yeah. Um, anyways, Ko- uh, Koharu. Yeah, that's the... There are two older people who are, like, the third Hokage's counsel. Koharu is the name of the woman, and she notes that Anbu have been deployed to all of the other major villages in secret to gather intel. And then, the third declares that until more info has been gathered, he's entrusting the safety of the village to the Joni. Mm -hmm. Meanwhile, Sakura gazes at a photo of Team Seven. Oh, that's like... Yeah, it's cute at first, but she can't look at Sasuke without seeing his curse mark. It's disturbing bestowment and the terrifying effects that haunt her every thought. That's fucked. That is awful. She remembers trying to visit Sasuke in the hospital and being turned away without reason. And then she worries that that's her fault. That her not stopping him from competing in the preliminaries is what put him in the hospital. You know? Mm -hmm. She's blaming herself. So real. Like, this is for children. I know. And this I is why Sakura is my favorite. She's the only one with any nuance. And, like, her nuance is so intense. Yeah. You know? um, Sakura decides to visit the hospital again, stopping by the Yamanaka flower shop on her way. Ino, whose last name, fun fact, is Yamanaka, um, mm. is working the counter. That's Remember in their flashback, they were picking flowers, and Ino knew all about the flowers? Oh. Wow, I love that. Matt, this is why. Oh. Wow, I love series continuity. Yeah, dude. Yeah. She, uh, she works at a flower shop. And, um... Sakura goes in to buy the flowers, and Eno's like, Haha, loser, why are you buying flowers for yourself? And Sakura's like, bitch, I just, I just don't have time for your bullshit. That happened recently, actually. I didn't realize it was a thing. I, I went to... You bought flowers for yourself? No, I wish. <laughs> but I, went I wish yourself. I would buy myself flowers. Yesterday I went thrifting on my own, uh-huh. on a group of people that I know, were, uh, they were there, and they were like, alright, bye Raj. And I was like, wait, where are you guys going? They're like, thrifting. I'm like, oh, I'm going there too. Like, yeah. by yourself? And I was like, uh... I never really knew how to answer that, because like... Look, it wasn't weird until someone makes it weird. I'm a big yeah. believer in the therapeutic power of doing things by yourself. Yeah. Yeah, I just I just like trying on pants without making other people wait. Because mm. yeah. pants are hard to but try even on. Even just like, like I love hanging out with my friends and like doing things and right, like right. being everywhere. But yesterday, like, I went and I had dinner by myself. Yeah. That's because lame. I wanted to. Yeah. Like I just didn't want to be with people and have to like. 
be on. Yeah, exactly. Sometimes you just need, like, a break. Like, because, like, when, especially, like, this has been my busiest week this semester, and I haven't seen anybody. And when I'm really busy, I get really, like, overwhelmed. Mm -hmm. And when I get overwhelmed, I, like, can't do people. Mm -hmm. So, like, I can't talk to people, and, like, people, like, have conversations with me, and, like, Katie's witnessed it many times. Yeah, She'll, like, say things, and I'm like, "Uh uh-huh. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Like, I just literally cannot function. Right. Yeah. So I need, like, a break to just not be a person. Yeah, I think that's totally fair. Um, so, like, fuck yeah. you for being, like, yeah, alone. Fuck you, Eno. Yes, alone. <laughs> be alone. Um, <laughs> Sakura heads over to the flowers that are in planters, and Eno wants her not to buy one because if you buy someone in the hospital a flower in a planter, it kind of gives off the vibe of, like, you're going to be here for a long time, you know? Sakura wonders how Eno knows that she's going to the hospital, but, like, Duh, all they ever think about is Sasuke. Obviously, they need to go visit Sasuke. What else would they be doing? Ino calls to her mom, and she's like, hey, I'm going to step out for a minute. She decides to join Sakura. Ino picks a, a, a red rose for Sasuke. Ooh, romance. But Sakura's like, you basic bitch. <laughs> and she gets a, Yeah, exactly. She gets a daffodil, and she's like, this flower represents strength and not being a basic bitch, loser. I, I, I just don't get Sakura's thought. Why would you take advice... From someone who's actively trying to sabotage yeah. your love life. Well, it's, it, they, 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 have like a, they have like a playful thing. You know, like some of what you know says is helpful. Some of it's just bullying. It's like yeah. 50, 50. It's like you and your know. mom. But she, <laughs> it's like me and my mom. <laughs> but Ino didn't give her advice other than not to get the planter. Did she? Well, just like in, just even telling her that. Yeah. Oh, I mean, like yeah. That's, yeah. Okay, but, that's I, but even then, I guess that like... It is kind of true. She had a fair reason, so therefore, yeah. take yeah. it. Um, <laughs> I know, but I know, at least, if, if, if I was Just in that position, life, I'd be true. like, fuck oh, maybe you, bitch, I'm getting a plan. I'm going to get a plan. Yeah. Maybe I want to be there for four years. Yeah. Fuck you. <laughs> <laughs> maybe I want Sasuke in the hospital, where at least I know where he can talk to me. Um, <laughs> at least he can't run off, you know? Because uh-huh. he's hospitalized. Um, <laughs> That's funny. Uh-huh. Yeah. Thanks, Morgan. Uh, a laugh will do next time. <laughs> 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 I do prefer laughter to declarations of humor. <laughs> um, <laughs> um, while so Eno mocks Sakura for her like faux botany, she's like, "Oh, a daffodil represents this and this and this." But then Sakura picks out a second daffodil, a gift for Lee. Why? Aww. Yeah. Oh, it was so cute. Well, lovely. While the two walk to the hospital, Eno. they... They're getting it, too? I know. They're getting it, too, like, no, just to show one off? One for Sasuke, one for Lee, bitch. Yeah, seriously. I have I have more than one boy, just so you know, loser. Um, while the two walk to the hospital, they overhear the other members of Team 10 eating barbecue. Although, I should say, they overhear Choji eating barbecue and Asuma and Shikamaru sitting with him while Choji eats barbecue. <laughs> um, they stop by to say hi, and Ino is like, Shikamaru, why aren't you training? Uh, but he's like, no, 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 I've been training nonstop, and Choji's been helping. That's why he's been being treated to barbecue by Asuma. When Shikamaru complains about all the work, Sakura and Asuma condemn his laziness. It's a privilege to have made it so far in the exams. And then Asuma's like, and you know everyone else is training, so you're gonna look like a real fucking loser if you're not if you uh, keep slacking off, you know. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. And, and 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 then we get a little uh, montage of the other people training. We see in the woods beyond the village, Ten Ten has trained with Neji to the point of exhaustion, and so Ten Ten is like further away from Neji with weapons all around her, and Neji's in the middle of this like crater at his feet, and we don't know how that formed or anything, but Neji collapses in the crater from from exhaustion. Elsewhere, Kiba, Hinata, and Kurenai attack Shino to prepare him for the finals. I think this is the only time we've seen, uh, like, a teacher, like, do something with a yeah, student. Yeah, other than Kakashi. Well, yeah, yeah, but Kakashi's watching a kid he's, sleep he's, in the hospital. Yeah, he's his own thing. Yeah, yeah. and then Asuma's just do, does, does not No, care. Asuma doesn't even step yeah. in if Neji's gonna kill Hinata. Yeah. <laughs> People like he wasn't gonna stop, no, at all. Yeah, and we should never forget, They're like, hashtag never forget that Asuma yeah. was gonna let Hinata die. <laughs> Sometimes a little nicotine's more important than your student. Yeah, I mean, yeah. it's fair. It's fair. That's fair. Yikes. <laughs> uh, what, what, what else is happening? You say yikes, I say problem. I say, give me a cigarette, Give please. me a cigarette, uh, I'm please. feeding. <laughs> I'm feeding. <laughs> um, meanwhile, in, in, a, in a dark room, we get a silent, uh, but it, it's, it's pretty well directed. There's like a, Baki is filling in the sand siblings on their plan to destroy Kanoha, and it's like silent. We just see Tamari like, oh no, but silently. Then we check in briefly with Naruto and Jiraiya, but our boy still can't summon anything but a tadpole. Aww. But still he's like, but, but it's a bigger one than last time. Is that how you <laughs> say it? I don't know. Everybody's New Zealand. Do you want to <laughs> develop an app? Have you seen the new Rick and Morty? Have you, have you not seen the new Rick and Morty? 
So that probably didn't make any sense to you. But now I can tag it Rick and Morty. I really well, hope that everybody listening acknowledges the fact that it just then sounded like you were talking to yourself. I'll probably yeah. just edit that all. <laughs> Please don't. <laughs> probably won't. Dude, I hated that. I was talking to this little kid at the daycare, <laughs> just like, like, having like a full human conversation. Yeah. And this woman who works there was like, Raj, why are you talking to yourself? I was like, no, I'm talking, I'm talking to the to little kid. And, and then like, when you looked back, the kid was gone. He disappeared. And then the person was like, Raj, what are you talking about? Kids, we're in the hub. <laughs> and you looked around and you realized you never worked at the daycare. You've been sitting in the corner of the food court. I looked down and the, the, suddenly the register's open and I have a, a, the outfit on. Like, I'm working at the hub. <laughs> and you're 35. <laughs> One of the 35-year-old Spanish women. Somebody write your ass kids is us. <laughs> just, and you guys are in line. And you guys are talking to me, trying to, like, steal from and, me. And, like, I have, like, a Naruto t-shirt on. <laughs> we're actually just sitting, we're like, hey, can we have, like, a bag, please? This whole <laughs> thing is a daydream as if I was this brown kid on a Naruto podcast. Just because I'm staring at your 35 shirt. 35-year-old Spanish woman. <laughs> just checking out sandwiches. Yeah, it's true. Um, at the hospital. <laughs> <laughs> That's one of my least favorite and favorite transitions of yours, where you just, like, someone says something, you go, yeah! That's true. And, and then I jump back in. Jump back in. Like, I don't know, it's man. not true at uh, all. Something else the Spanish woman might daydream about is at a hospital where, you know. Oh, ooh, I, don't know. <laughs> I hope not. Look, I don't know. Is that <laughs> problematic? I'm <laughs> sure. I don't know. Um, if, they like, if, they, if they like Naruto, they might daydream about it, you know? Where Sakura and Hino are escorted to Sasuke. If I get so much, give him a heart attack. Yeah. In the hospital. <laughs> exactly. Um, but the, the, the girls are escorted to Sasuke's room, and they're like, oh, you'll have five minutes with him. But when they arrive, his bed is empty, and his clothes are gone. <laughs> what? The nurse walks in, and she's like, oh, what? Yeah, okay, yeah, there, there's a very specific set of animations where they walk in, and the nurse is like, here we are. And the girls are like, oh, where is he? And the nurse goes, what? And then we see the empty bed. Which is important because I'll get back to it. But yeah. the nurse panics and runs off to search for the doctor while Sakura wonders if Sasuke left to ally with Orochimaru. Because yeah. if, if we remember back yeah. in the Forest of Death, Orochimaru was certain that Sasuke would track him down and for more power. And she's the only one that knows that. Literally, yeah. not even Naruto knows. Or Kakashi oh already yeah. She just has to deal with it and think about it without telling anybody PTSD. else because she knows that he doesn't want Yeah, that's so to. much fucking weight on her back. Yeah. But luckily... Somewhere far from the village, it's like a rocky desert, and we see Kakashi climbing up a sheer cliff face with one hand tied behind his Great back. Great scene. Oh, yeah, he's getting this crossfit. <laughs> he's straight going crossfit. <laughs> um, Kakashi struggles to make it, nearly falling to his death, but he opens the first inner gate to boost his strength and jump up to the top, which is it's so interesting to see that technique applied to somebody else, you know? Yeah. Yeah, it's um, weird. Yeah. I, well, I, I think it's weird because that's, like, Lee's only gimmick. Exactly, and Kakashi's just, like... He's, he's, like, just, he's using the mountain. Like, like, there I go. Kakashi's like, uh, I, I mean... Guess. Yeah, I guess. I might as well. <laughs> um, but once he reaches the top, he's greeted coolly by Sasuke. I guess they're going He just goes, train. what's up? Oh, of course this, he does. This cool ass He's got the biggest dick energy in the world. Just <laughs> broke out of a hospital. A ninja hospital. Yeah. <laughs> and, and apparently climbs the cliff, I guess. A, a room that's been attacked before a, a few times. Yeah. So Multiple no one, assassination attempts, and I guess he can just walk just out. Just walk yeah. out. With a backpack. Sasuke just goes, so you finally showed. Like, yeah. I think that was the line. Yeah. Like, what? So he got there first. Yeah, he just <laughs> has been waiting around for Kakashi. Yeah, like, when chilling. did he leave? Like, how took, did nobody notice? It took the nurse that whole time yeah like, first, first of all, the nurse yeah they need to keep better track of their fucking yeah. ninja like an s level and this is this is common knowledge between like everyone the, right. an s level terrorist it targeted this kid wants to assassinate this kid yeah, yeah. and yet he can just leave just, just Walk leaves. Out. yeah <laughs> Um, the girls lament Sasuke's disappearance, and the nurse instructs them to inform the hospital of any information they get regarding his whereabouts. In the meantime, she leads them to Lee's room. But we get that exact same, I think it's, the exact same No, it's same exactly animation. the same. Until they look out, and, it's and exactly see, the same. Yeah, yeah. It's, yeah. It, they walk in, they're like, oh, hi, little... Oh, and then we see an empty bed, yeah. This time, however, he's easy to find. Lee's in the courtyard outside and below forcing himself to do 200 one-handed push-ups. Bro, that <sighs> scene is brutal. And he's... Made me cry he, They have to be one-handed because yeah, one of his so arms upsetting. is... But also, just... he's still doing it on both legs. Yeah. And one's broken. And I, one's broken. I imagine they're just both extended for balance because... Which, you, obviously for balance, yeah, because yeah. he'd fall over if they didn't, but... Imagine how bad that has to hurt. Oh my god, yeah. Yeah, no, he's in pain. Yeah, he's not, crying. I mean, not only is he cut up because all of his muscles got torn by opening, what, five fucking inner gates or yeah. something like that, um, but also his arm and leg are demolished by the fucking sand cough. Yeah. 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 Um, by the sand cough. That I sounds so cool. I, I can't even do a push-up, like, one 
without uh, both my limbs. Yeah. So I can't imagine doing 200 one-handed push-ups with a broken leg. Yeah. Well, that's why you befriend your PE teacher. That's what I did. For two years, I had weight training. I befriended him. So I ran the fitness gram. And I would just write in like, oh, I could do like 90 push-ups. <laughs> that's pretty <laughs> you, ever, you ever get to the pacer test, like, like lap 400? The music gets crazy. Raj cheated the It goes up system. to 400? Yeah. I believe they, 250 is, yeah, like, the max, but, like, it, it gets they, some fire They stopped music. us at, like, or stopped, well, not me, um, but they stopped the kids in my school at, like, I think 75. Oh, uh, no, that's lame. Me and my friends would skip to, like, 250 just to see how fast we could yeah, do it. Yeah, no, I, and I've always had a couple of chats in my gym class yeah. that, like... No, we had, the, we had the, like, the, the soccer players that yeah. would just, like... Of course. They would, like, those guys. Yeah, yeah, everyone's sitting boys, there yeah. after, like... The, like We all agree on what we're sitting down waiting to play, the, like, a game. They're like, guys, 45 max. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, like, and, and all the like, musical kids 200. are sitting there and they're like, <laughs> I made it to 15. <laughs> and then the soccer players are like... Oh, I'm at 75. No big deal. Yeah. Oh, Raj, you're fucking kid. What was his name again? Jamie? Jamie. Jamie and Jessica. Jamie. Jamie yeah, I got, I got to 250 on the pacer test. <laughs> Find you. We're out the womb still. Oh, yeah, yeah. No, this is... this is. I think the umbilical cord's still on. Yeah, yeah. He's running and your wife is just, like, flopping behind him. <laughs> like a rag doll. I need the dog. extra resistance. Otherwise, it's no trouble at all. Oh, my God. Rock Lee has his ankle weights and Rock. Jamie has his mom. <laughs> <laughs> um, wow. The, uh, back in Naruto land, the girls run outside, and the nurse tries to stop Lee, but he snaps at her. I mean, like, he, he really is yeah. like, bitch, back off, I have to like, keep Don't training. touch me! Yeah. I think he said that specifically. He said, bitch, back well, off. Well, well, no, 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 like, not even, because it's actually, it's, it's like, more, um, like, heartbreaking to know, you know? Yeah. yeah, he's like, no, I have to keep training. As Sakura watches the boy push himself... Sorry, I shouldn't be flipping that paper. That'll be loud in the microphone. <laughs> as, as Sakura watches the boy push himself well beyond his limits, she remembers Ino telling her the news that Lee's days as a ninja are over. Still, Lee, thinking of Sasuke, Gara, Neji, and Naruto, refuses to be counted out. He won't stop believing in himself because he remembers that Guy, if, 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 if we think back to his fight with Gara, mm -hmm. he was like, is this all pointless, Master? And Guy was like, it is pointless if you don't believe in yourself. Wasn't that, <laughs> That's so good. <laughs> wasn't that from when he was training originally? Mm. Probably. It was when he was training. He's always training. It, wasn't it, constantly it was training. from when he would, was like, oh, yeah, it was, but it was like punching a, the tree. It yeah, was a yeah. flashback from a flashback. Yeah. The, the, the episodes of him and Gara had like 50 million layers of flashback. It was like flashbackception. Um, <laughs> but yeah, he, he, so Lee is thinking to himself, it, it's all pointless if he can't finish these push-ups. And he gets to 199, and then he collapses. And this shit fucking hurts. It, it, it broke me. Yeah. It's mm -hmm. terrifying. The, the, the way that the voice actor manages to continue doing the Lee voice, which is like, oh boy, here I go with some push-ups. And also is like this desperation to prove to himself that he's still mm -hmm. able to function. Because everyone yeah. is telling him that his days of being a ninja, like even from the very beginning, he's been told, you only know taijutsu, so you can't be anything. Mm -hmm. And now it's, even with everything you've put towards yeah. this, it's not enough. And... Now he's, like, forced to, to face that. Uh -huh. The nurse runs off for a stretcher while the girls watch over Lee, and Sakura wonders why the boys always push themselves further than their own good. Demonstrating this, we cut to Shikamaru and Choji sparring. Shikamaru has run out of chakra, so he can't use his shadow possession thing, but he, he still is, like, he's running around trying to avoid Choji's human boulder, and Asuma is like, no, you have to keep going another round. We gotta keep pushing it. <laughs> Chody looks so fucking stupid. I thought it was really funny that he just jumped into a bush yeah. and avoided the attack. Yeah. Like, why don't they just always do that? Well, bushes are great for hiding from attacks, spying on women at a waterfall. <laughs> Which is weird. You ever, like, try to jump into a bush? Too many sticks. Oh, yeah. Yeah, too many branches. I, it hurts. Yeah, bushes in yeah. anime are always just, like... Are they hollow? A, yeah. a, a little, just, hollow sphere of leaves. Like, yeah. <laughs> and they jump in and they're like, oh. Like, how would you not lose an eye? Exactly. Like, that's if cool. bushes were really like that, we would all live in them. Oh, know? most of them. There'd be no reason to have a home. Cool. Exactly. Yeah. Make it, like, yeah, a bush home would be fucking dope. I, when I was a little kid growing up, obviously, um, outside of my house, we had giant bushes that we, were basically hollow. Me too. Do you remember that story about Eli peeing on that, kid's sh sh on that yeah. kid that one time? Mm. Um, it was in a bush. We had made it our fort, and Eli was like, I want to be in here. He peed you in know, a bush I home. have those too. Yeah, on my friend. <laughs> I... When I, I think before I was born or when I was like one or two, uh -huh. my whole house, I live on a corner. Yeah. My whole house was surrounded by bushes. Damn. Except for my garage door and my front door. Yeah. 
but like the whole thing was surrounded by these bushes that are they're like pine bushes but bushes like the inside is fuck. just sticks but if you break the sticks it's essentially hollow yeah yeah that's just so cool so we cut to sunset in the hospital and lee wakes up to see sakura's daffodil on his windowsill Ooh. then we see someone yeah. was here i know but but imagine that must I, it's almost like he doesn't even remember them being there yeah because yeah. he was so in his own head yeah which is kind fucking of, Eno couldn't even leave the fucking rose. You don't even know where Sasuke is. I know. Just give yeah, me the because rose. Because we see them walking home in the fading light, and, and they're like, oh, we, we totally wasted these flowers. Like, bitch, just leave them leave for Lee. Yeah, just Lee definitely needs them more than flowers. Sasuke. Sasuke doesn't well, because care. Yeah. Sakura left her daffodil for Lee. And yeah. I was like, okay, well, she bought that for Lee. But then they yeah. also have an extra daffodil and a rose. I was just more stuck up on Eno. I was like, just fucking Because you didn't do anything. You had nothing. Yeah. Like, you did also, not go with Also, do you leave work for this? Yeah, also, you know, lives in a flower shop. Like, bitch, doing? leave a flower. You can flower. get another flower, yeah. yeah. It's your job. Like, yeah. your job. Yeah. And, like, what if... So, well, I, I mean, I guess that they left it, but, like, if, if Sakura had been like, here's a daffodil for you, Lee, and then, you know, just stood there and didn't yeah, With the rose and, and was like, oh, rose, like, this, this is actually not... for Sasuke. Yeah, exactly. Uh, that would be so <laughs> awkward. <laughs> <laughs> and he was like, Sasuke's not even here. And she's like, yeah, but like, if he gets back, I want to have that yeah. rose. I was just going to, I was just going to wait until sunset. And then I figured, because I guess that's what they did, right? They didn't leave until sunset. Yeah. I don't know. Just, just using clues of the lighting. <laughs> back at the waterfall, Jiraiya decides to end Naruto's training for the day. Though it's unclear if it's because he's tired and hungry or because all the girls have gone home. Mm. <laughs> no, probably the, the pro- boner's pro- down. Probably, he's like, exactly. all right, whatever. We when the down. sun and the boner are both down, the training. Oh my god, that's how he channels his chakras. He has to have a boner. Yeah, I was I was gonna say that's how he tells time is he gets a boner and he looks at the shadow, you know? Um, oh my gosh. He just has a sundial. Exactly. <laughs> sundial dick. Dryer sundial, sundial dick. dick. Episode oh title! Um, <laughs> I can't wait for you just to send that to Ali. Yeah. Be like, hey, here's what you gotta work with. I can't wait for that to not be the title. Yeah. Hey, it was last week. It was Powerful Plumber Tell So, you there know, you I stuck to that one. Uh, Naruto uses the sexy jutsu to try to prolong his training time. He's like, oh, master, can't you teach me just one more thing? And he convinces Jiraiya to stay around for one last summoning attempt. Although, he turns back into Naruto really quickly, and Jiraiya's like, that was it? I don't even get a handy or anything? (laughs) (laughs) Sorry. Naruto slams his hand down and celebrates victory. This time... The tadpole has legs. <laughs> it's like just kicking in the air. <laughs> um, Jiraiya finds it hard to be so optimistic, wishing that Naruto would summon a frog with a brain bigger than Naruto's that he could train that instead of our <laughs> knuckleheaded boy. And that's uh, that's the end of episode uh, 55. Finally. What a drag. Oh the, that episode? Both of these. Oh, you didn't like them. See, I fucking love these episodes and I don't know if it's just because I'm writing the outline and not a lot happens so it's easy for me to write the outline <laughs> um, but like for, for me I, I also there's like this there's like this concept of like um, like breath in animation it's mm-hmm. like what the Ghibli movies have yeah. where there's so much just empty space yeah. um, and it's not really something that we have in western animation but it's really common in anime and like sometimes Naruto episodes just feel poorly paced yeah. but I, I, again, it could just be because I was writing the outline, but for me, with these, I was like, oh, these are just thinking episodes. Yeah, I feel like the way that it, it is spaced out, there, there's so many narratives going on in the episodes, but they're not really, like, important. Mm-hmm. Like, you see the sequence where they go to the hospital, and yeah. you see Naruto training, and you see the other kids training, and it's kind of like yeah. all these different things, and but none of them are, like plot breaking. Right. Well, that's but... what I love about episode 55, really, mm-hmm. is that you get to see a little snippet of everybody's life. Yeah. Yeah. Which is cool, because that's, like, answer to earlier question, like, do they pee? Yeah. It's just like that. It's like, they do pee. Mm. They do pee. They do and pee. they eat a shit ton of barbecue. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Do you guys have any thoughts on these episodes, particularly? Uh, I don't know. I thought it, I thought it was easier for me to follow than, like, other, egg, like, which yeah. doesn't really make sense because they're jumping around to, like, all these different things. But also not much happens. Like, exactly. So, like, it's... I don't know. It like a lot of things. I was like, oh, and like realized things yeah. that I had I'd missed before, and like mm-hmm. I, it was nice to like. It's it's good to have a couple episodes that are just kind of breathers. I think. Yeah. yeah, yeah. Especially since we've had preliminary fight, preliminary fight, preliminary fight, like back to back mm-hmm. to yeah. back to back. Yeah. Um, also, I didn't realize what it looked like where they lived. Like that room thing with Sakura in her room, and I was like, oh, she has like a house. Yeah. <laughs> well, well, it's weird. She has a house. I always you picture the hollow ever, bush. <laughs> you yeah. don't ever like associate ninja uh-huh. with their parents. Yeah. yeah, that's true. Because like, Sakura's mom probably isn't a ninja. Yeah. Probably just a normal lady. Mm-hmm. 
who wants her daughter to vacuum the living room. Yeah. What if she mm-hmm. was a ninja? What if she was just like, that's why she would need her to vacuum because she had the ninja mission to go on? She's like, listen, I, I have a mission. I need you to help around well, the house. What, I'm so what, busy. What we've kind of always figured is that the, the villages are military villages. So, like, everybody who's native to them has at least the ninja academy. They're at least getting. But, mm-hmm. like, you can opt into the tuning exams, obviously. But, mm-hmm. um, oh, we have a fucking reader response about this. Citizens. Fuck. It's about the civilian thing, right? Yeah, yeah. I wish I could find it right off the top of my... But basically... Um, I, I, I figure that people can also move there from mm-hmm. the land at large. So, like, maybe Sakura's dad is a ninja and her mom isn't, you know, or, yeah, like, her mom's a ninja like a and her dad's wife. not. Yeah, exactly. Um, that's crazy. What a weird, like, detail yeah. that just exists. Um, yeah. Uh, did you guys watch the intro and outro? Yeah. Yes. What, any thoughts? I liked it better than the last one. You're smoking crack. Even like... the intro? Okay, yeah, I like the last intro. I like the outro. I... I, I liked the, like outro the outro better than the last intro, uh-huh. but I liked the last outro more than this. better than both. Okay, let's just use season two and three. That should what? be easier. So okay, this yeah. is season three. <laughs> yeah, last the last two, the chibi one and the other one, season two. Yeah. So overall, um, season two better. Great, great intro, great outro, right? Yeah. Fantastic. Yeah. Season three, terrible outro. I like the intro a lot. Like Whoa, a stupid really? Stupid amount. Okay, it's a great song. See, I don't love the intro song, but I do like the visuals of seeing them all as kids. Oh yeah, yeah, that's uh, I, I, nice I like visual. That. And it grew on me. The, the song, it's, just, it's the part where like, like the singer kind of has an annoying voice, but it's like when she's like na 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 na, and then like yeah. she does like that whole like quick in succession cadence, uh-huh. and it's so good. If I knew what she was saying, it was probably some hot fire. <laughs> to be honest. Um, I liked the intro last time because when I'd like start to hear it, I'd be like, oh, time to watch Naruto and like my, and like, I don't know, like uh-huh. I just like would then get into Naruto mode and was like excited to watch the yeah. episodes where like now I'm like, what am I watching? And then, mm. so eventually I'll associate then it with Naruto yeah. and then I'll probably enjoy it more. I just think um, from what we've seen of season three so far, it's like a training season and the outro is so training-y. It's like drums and shit. Yeah. And, yeah. Like that was perfect. I love, um... You can see little Chibi Lee with his cast trying to keep up with everyone else. It's it's, so that's sad. Sad. I love the visuals more than the music for oh, the outro. It's yeah. so cute. Yeah. I love I'm little... like yeah. so, like one of my favorite things and like it's like a guilty pleasure is listening to anime intros. Sure. Like, I do just all the time. music. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, it's so good. Not, I, not so much these ones. Naruto's reasons. really not it for me. Yeah. I, actually, this is like the intro I have saved. Really? When it comes to Naruto. Not even some of the ones from Shippuden? No. I can't listen to those. Those are just like straight up jokes at this point. Well, like, wait till we get to them. You'll, you'll, fucking, you'll uh, change your tune. We, uh, you are my friend oh, and oh, and oh, the uh, and Bluebird. The one Bluebird, that's... yeah, Bluebird's like probably the serious one. I could probably listen Bluebird's to Bluebird. Bluebird's fucking great, bro. The, how's the other one? Going? Na 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 na. Yeah, that yeah. one. It's just a joke. Like they're all <laughs> okay. Yeah, at this yeah, point. yeah. Some yeah. of them are too memey. Yeah, but um, I love Chibi Asuma smoking in the outro. I that love was that. Really funny. <laughs> love that. Um, and what I was saying about Udon, you can see Konohamaru and Moegi, they run past everyone, and then, like, sometime later, because it's like a parade of all yeah. the characters as chibis, then Udon runs up, like, way later. He's trying to catch up, because I guess he's he doing didn't... math. Exactly, he's too busy doing algebra. <laughs> um, and then we also get, like, some pictures of Team 7 on, like, an off day during the outro. Which is nice. I love I love those. it when characters have, like, a set, like, outfit, but then they're, they, you see, like, their civilian like off day clothes yeah. persona mm-hmm. does it really well where like you go to school like you have the jacket on but when it's when you don't you're like it's like a t-shirt oh, it's just a straight up a t-shirt yeah, yeah. It's so cool so far all right um so let's get into some reader responses Yo! all right so first up i want to talk about that one that i was referring to that i that i didn't um that i couldn't remember which one it was it's uh from jay razestone on instagram he said uh came here to say this. Not everyone in the village is a Chunin slash Genin. The civilians are referenced throughout the show and usually don't know what the fuck is going on when ninja shit goes down. Also, I fucking love this podcast right now. LOL. You guys are the voices of my morning routine. Thank you. I love that. <laughs> Me too. Um, but so I think that like, okay, I know it refers to civilians, but I really think that in the village, it's either people that moved there or like people who are just Genin. Because it is, a, it's the military force of the yeah. land of fire, or for the sand village, it's the land of wind, you know? So, like, mm-hmm. I, 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 I'm pretty sure that even the civilians are ninja folk, you yeah. know, uh, to mm-hmm. some degree. Um, anyways, so Patreon shoutouts, of course, that's up first. Uh, you can help support us on Patreon at www.patreon.com forward slash Um 
a this week our Genning tier patron that we're shouting out is Jacob Greer. Ooh. Yeah, Ooh. he's uh, you know, he's in the Discord. He's talking to us. He's wonderful he's person doing the thing that 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 patrons do, and he is a wonderful person because he helps mm-hmm. support us. And the most wonderfulest of all of the peoples um, that we know are our now legendary Sonin. Because what? Of, since I know last week we called them the legendary Ninin because there are two of them, but there's three now, folks. We have yes. Dave Mata, the Legend. man, the myth. Possible legend. I'm not sure if he's real still. <laughs> he just he seems too it's, like it's unreal his who, existence. It, it's insane. Who is Dave Mott? Exactly. Uh, right. Nina Kelly, the wonderful and the fantastic, the best. Uh, exactly. The most yes. And Pro Hendrix. Welcome. Who, Yay. Uh, Thank you for supporting. Pro us. Hendrix, you're gonna have to tell us an absurd amount about your personal life so that we can talk about you like we did yes. Dave Mott and Nina Kelly. Like this is true. Yeah. Tell us who. We need a full. Tell us yeah, all of that. Yeah. Send us. Yeah. Send, yeah. Molly. Yeah, send, <laughs> send us. Send us. Send us pictures and. And, and details about your life so that we can talk about you constantly all throughout the episodes. Um, and, you know, anyone out there listening, if you want to send us all that stuff, or more probably relevantly, ask us questions or give us comments, you can get in touch with us at naratalkpod at gmail.com, on Facebook, Naratalk the Naratoshi Podcast, on YouTube, we're Naratalk Pod, Instagram and Twitter, we're at Naratalk Pod. You can use hashtags like Naratalk or Naratalk Pod. Our website is naratalk.wordpress.com, and as I said, our Patreon is www.patreon.com forward slash Naratalk Pod. There's a couple tiers on there. Two dollar one, you get into our Discord, which is bombastic. There's like 15 people now, including us. Which is get a new word. Sick. Wait, other than fifteen. Oh, uh, <laughs> the second yeah. time. All right. What do you want me to call it? It's good, very good, <laughs> very good. Um, mm, yes. Can you come up with a word that's similar to bombastic, that that has the same bombacity, as bombastic? I might punch you right in your face. That's not a word. That's a punch. <laughs> all I'm saying is if you can't. All I'm saying is if you can't come up with a word that's more bombastic than bombastic, don't call out the word bombastic. Um. Listen, all I know is uh-huh. that it, it is not a word, it is a punch, and everybody does call me one punch Morgan, so. Here's some similar <laughs> words to bombastic. Uh-huh. We have pompous, uh-huh. we have blustering, and ranting. So, you can continue. Have ranting. I been using bombastic wrong? Uh, <laughs> I think so. <laughs> what the fuck? Wait, Wait seriously? Google, yeah. see? Bombastic. High sounding, but with little meaning. <laughs> <laughs> I have been using bombastic wrong. Wow. Yeah, fuck Google's definitions, man. But, um, yeah, the, the Discord's aw- aw- awesome, so $2 gets you in there. $5 gets you bonus episodes this past Thursday. No, Wednesday. Uh, our um, a little early. Rio Ooh. Radio 3 came out. It was about Over the Garden Wall. People seem to really fuck with it. Fuck uh, yeah. I think, like, everybody's listened, and everybody, like, in the Discord, you know? And uh, they all seem to really like it, so that's cool. Uncut, unedited. It's, like, more than two hours long. Mostly uncircumcised. Yeah, mostly. Um, Wait. Did you just reveal that you're uncircumcised well, no. on the podcast? I'm the mostly part. I'm not circumcised. Well, no, I am. I am uh, circumcised. I'm circumcised too. Are you guys circumcised? Can you guys get circumcised? What? what? <laughs> well, I guess not. <laughs> so you guys are uncircumcised. <gasps> Very nice. I didn't even think of that. Yeah. Um, we should start advertising that way. <laughs> uh, <laughs> too circumcised and too uncircumcised. <laughs> We'll say that in the intro for next week's episode. Oh um, but yeah, and then at the $10 tier, which we now have three people at, that's really cool, um, because Anime NYC cost a fucking fortune. A lot of money. Um, so that's really cool. Yeah, I know, because we ate those big boy breakfasts at McDonald's. I really think I can do it again. Yeah. I really think Tune in on the episode of January 6th to hear Raj and I talk about our... Did we talk about that? I yes. think we must have. Yeah, yeah, like a disgusting a big boy Why breakfast. do we have to wait? <laughs> January 6th, baby. Um, unless you pledge the $25 tier, which gets you a mailbag with a t-shirt and all sorts of postcards that we signed, and we'll get you early access to the episodes. So you can listen to it right now. We should do, like, a real radio, like, mukbang, attempting uh, McDonald's, like... I swear to God. Uh I swear to God. I had a moment while we were recording this episode that I was like, we should do a, a mukbang for one of the Rio radios. What is that? What is, what is it's, that? Just it's like an food. eating yeah. show. You, you just record yourself and eat, eat food. All right. Yeah. Oh my god, can we, we do like a that, bunch but... of stuff? We could do like Korean barbecue and like sushi and yeah. shit. Yeah. All right. Well, that'd be. I, I would just love to eat the food there, but we should do the McDonald's breakfast. Like we should body that shit. Yeah. yeah. There's no rules. You can have McDonald's breakfast and sushi yeah. and well, Korean barbecue. Yeah. We have to do like a themed Rio radio. You yeah. Know, where it was like we all eat the big boy McDonald's breakfast or like yeah. and. Sushi. We should all wear suits. Yeah, yeah. We should be like review, bro. You want to record it as well, physically? Yeah. All right. We'll we'll we'll, we'll, we'll plan that out later. But basically, <laughs> even if you can't even do the two dollars, even if it's just one dollar, any amount of money is greatly appreciated, mm-hmm. and you're appreciated. Links for all that stuffs in the description below. Let's uh let's hear some of some of words. Let's hear some things that people sent to us from you. Let's hear it right now, guys. Do you mm-hmm. have anything? All right. So we have uh I believe this is an Instagram comment. Mm-hmm. From at Jeremy G underscore. Mm-hmm. And they said, 
I would give the right side of my body to be at the live show, but alas, <laughs> plane tickets cost money and not body parts, so... <laughs> I think that's also a Naruto reference, like a deep cut spoilery reference. I think so. Yeah, which is they great. They seem knowledgeable, yeah. yeah. Looking forward to listening to the episode. Also, tell Raj to finish Haikyuu. I believe he mentioned watching the first season in an earlier episode. It's worth finishing. I'm biased because I voice a few of the characters, but still, it's incredible. We have a listener who voices the characters Holy in shit. a mainstream shonen anime. That's we'll get to, so we'll get to that cool. in just a second. Yeah, yeah, sorry, so they sorry, continue... Sorry. I'll be joining the Patreon slash Discord soon. I need to get in on that tattoo talk. I've got a curse mark slash seal in the same spot Sasuke has his. In parentheses, fuck Sasuke. <laughs> Anyways, <laughs> thanks for what you guys do. You make my drive to performances much easier. Stay gold, pony boy. So that's an oh, outside reference. That. Holy wow. shit. Yeah. Yeah. That's, <laughs> that's crazy. 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 The first show I've ever worked on. That's so, yeah, so, Okay, so Jeremy. Hey, buddy. So... First off, you've been in the Discord for a while now, and you're an amazing, wonderful person, yeah. and your tattoo looks fucking sick. Yeah. So cool. Um, about Haikyuu. So, I was really into the show because I was coming off that high of really enjoying Free and wanting something similar, but the basketball one wasn't doing for me, and I was too old for Prince of Tennis at the time, so Haikyuu was <laughs> it. And I'm really into volleyball. Yeah. So, I watched the first season for just for, for Kenma. Now, now, you know what I'm talking about. These people don't. This Kenma's is- adorable, and I love him, and that's why I started watching the show. And... Then, when I, fi- I finished it when it was coming out, so the first season ended, and I was like, oh, I so gotta see season two. Uh-huh. But this happened with me with a lot of animes. I still haven't seen any of the free movies or, mm-hmm. or, or Assassination Classroom season, Attack on Time, literally anything. If you had a hiatus mm. for a while, I haven't continued. Yeah, but, it's hard um, to take long hiatus. And I, then, actually, this um, past summer, towards the end, I tried watching season two, but it was at the same time Hulu gave uh, was just removing it, so it, it had like a little counter on the side. It was like three days, so this is all gone. Yeah. And I was like, I kind of don't like having a time limit on watching things. So, so I, I just, just said not to. I just did it. Fair yeah. news, man. Fair news. Um, but trust me when when I say I know the show is fantastic. I, I can only believe it goes up from there. It ended on such a great note where I, I should probably finish it. Yeah. I will finish it. Don't for you. For, for you, for the fact that you're in our Discord, I will finish That's that so show cool. fully. Yeah. yeah. Um, but yeah, yeah, you know, thank you so much for reaching out for us. Uh, the fact that you're, that you listen to us is bad shit. Oh, hey, that is amazing. Yeah. You're, uh, that's so cool. How about, uh, <laughs> you guys want to respond to some uh, uh, reader? Uh, sure. Um, I have an Instagram comment from Dahlia Doodles. Oh, yes. Um, every, basically yeah, every, every week time. Dahlia has something. So I'm like, I yeah. might as well throw it in. Like, they're such detailed. And yeah, yeah, they're great. Yeah. And they're, like, always relevant to, like, Oh, yeah, no, they, are, they, like, so. really listen and they're like, oh, yeah. shit, like, here's my response. Yeah. Yeah. They said, um, the episode introducing Jiraiya is really cringy and I was wondering how you guys are going to react to it. Not well. Uh, Not at <laughs> all. <laughs> it really hits me now how creepy Jiraiya is since as a kid I didn't really know. I blame Master Rose from Dragon Ball for making this character type popular. Yeah, so in, in Dragon Ball, mm-hmm. they have this master Roshi, obviously, mm-hmm. um, yeah. who's also super pervy. And, like, Naruto is basically Dragon Ball, but a little more refined. Like, it's mm-hmm. it, the inspiration is yep. sometimes less than inspiration and more it is Dragon mm-hmm. Ball. But, um, <laughs> yeah, so it, it absolutely is from Roshi, who, believe it or not, is worse than Jiraiya in Dragon Ball. Oh, I know, interesting. I know it's hard to believe. Roshi's weird, because he's, like, Straight up on Jiraiya's level, if not more. Oh, when that's you that's first what I'm saying. Yeah. yeah, and then Jiraiya just kind of pushes it, but yeah. Roshi's kind of also. They're both terrible people. Yeah. Please don't be them when you're old. Yeah, don't don't, yeah, <laughs> don't, don't be them when you're young either. Yeah, yeah. don't be creepy. Stop yeah, it. Don't look up to Jiraiya, uh, especially not in these episodes. Yeah, not at all. Yeah. Wait, wait till like four hundred episodes later. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, you had there was a little more. Oh, uh, yeah. They said I always thought Sanin meant something like three great ninja because Nin Nin Ninpo. Ninjutsu and a thousand years of death is based off Konko. Konko. I don't know what that is. Um, I don't know. Oh, I don't know. Um, oh, you don't know what that is? What is that? I don't know. No, I thought you would like. Oh, oh, you were saying you were sure that I would have Googled it? Yeah, because you I'll like do it. stupid research. I'll give it a Googs right now. Oh, Concho is a game or trick often played in Japan. Oh my god. Holy shit. <laughs> Often played in Japan by young school <laughs> children. Morgan, come here really quick. Come here. No, it's, I hate look this. At, look at the picture. Guys, Google Concho. It's a game performed by clasping the hands together so the index fingers are pointing out Wait, so and, attempting to, and attempting to insert them into someone's anal region when the victim is not looking. That's not okay. It's so not a game. It's just that classic Japanese prank of surprise anal fingering. <laughs> Gotcha. <laughs> gotcha. Oh wow. Um, so really, thank you, because I did not know that that was a thing. That's that's something. Um, g- good God. Yeah, thanks, Dolly Doodle. 
Congrats for doing the research on um, the oh. popular prank of anal oh fingering. My. <laughs> but uh, wow, yeah, Morgab, do you have a do you have a a, 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 a reader response which you would like to read? Yeah. Uh, so I have a response from YouTube user Kent Ordahl, um, and they okay. said, uh, "Love it every week when I'm doing my paper route." Uh, I listen. There's always something to listen to. It makes me never bored. Anyway, keep up the good work. Have fun doing it. Okay. Believe it. A, a paper. I didn't a know paper, paper route still existed. Yeah. Frankly, wow. That's incredible. <laughs> That's crazy. <laughs> Jesus. Imagine you on your bike just throwing papers, hearing us in your ear. That yeah. is such a <laughs> thought. Yeah. That's fucking Dude, wild. Dude, so I'm ear. also That's sorry so because we like kind of like make abrupt loud noises sometimes. So I imagine like. <laughs> This kid like biking, yeah. and then all of a sudden we like scream or some shit, and he like falls off, <laughs> <laughs> and like drops all the paper. Yeah. <laughs> Fuck. Oh, no. Um. Okay. Yeah. Uh. Whereas while we're in the YouTube section, you want to read? Uh. Sure. Oh, okay. So our good old buddy Nath says, "Great episode again, guys. Live show sounded like a big success. It was. Thank you so oh, yeah. much." Yeah. If you ever tour Australia, I'll be there. I, I hope so. Six percent of our listeners are from Australia. That's the second highest country, like per like person Holy per country. Shit. We uh, gotta so tour, tour Australia. Yeah, by the end of college, I'm telling it's, you. Uh, it's Australia and Texas who want us bad. That's what I'm oh, learning. Yeah, 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 exactly. So that's the dream now with the podcast. July Outside world? July of twenty twenty two? Hey, I'm, I'm serious. Well, we'll get there. I, I, I want a tour so bad. Yeah. And then uh, they continue. I'll be there. If you guys are having issues with dry, may I recommend you actively avoid all etchy slice of life anime? Nice. I think the creepiest thought is when you're conscious of the fact that there are like grown ass Asian men all in the room drawing all of this. What's 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 Etchy's so life? Etchy is, from my understanding and from what I've seen, uh-huh. uh, think of hentai, yeah, but without the, the porn. Well, so so, so soft like, core hentai. It's pretty much soft core hentai. Okay. And it, 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 it's good. pretty much, revol- I, I guess, Slice of Life kind of just revolves around, like, really pervy things happening, but everyone's just like, haha, they're well, so cool. Well, apparently so in Japan... So, stepmom hentai? Pretty much. <laughs> sounds good. Sounds, sounds that, that's, like, that's a great... Sounds like my kind of poppy bag. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my. If, if the Slice of Life is uh, just fingering people's assholes with Concho, I mean, like, I guess that's the... I mean, yeah, no, it. that... <laughs> Concho would, like, fall under edgy Slice of Life. I mean... So perfectly. So yeah. there you go. I guess. Like, what can you even do? There's a lot of. I mean, th- there's some quality etchy out there. I I can't name any, but I'm pretty sure there's quality everywhere if you look hard enough. Who knows? Who knows? Um. Anyways, please. Thank you, first of all, so much for those responses. We love hearing from yeah, you guys. We, like, sincerely. We love it. Please like, subscribe, rate, whatever you do, wherever you are. Uh, leave a five star review. You can do it right in the Apple Podcast app. It's as easy as peasy, and um, we read them out. <laughs> easy as peasy. Yeah, dude. Wow. And we read them out every week. Uh, even if you, whether they're positive, negative, whatever they are. Here's one from the bees. The 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 bees. Cleez, I guess is how you would say it. Um, this pod is better than Ichiraku. Love the pod. I look forward to listening to it at work every week. Also, what do you think of Fortnite adding the Naruto run in the game? Didn't know they did that. They, I, uh, yeah, oh it's, my gosh. Um, I don't think about Fortnite. I don't think about that at all. Um, if they did a Naruto x Fortnite crossover, then I would spend way more money than I already have spent in that game. LOL. Honestly... If they did a Naruto Fortnite crossover, I'd probably buy a skin. Yeah, we would, he would sell out it, instantly. Probably. Yeah, <laughs> I'm glad you, you you saw Naruto run in Fortnite. It was like, the Naruto people need to hear Yeah, it. I know. <laughs> <laughs> that makes me so happy. The podcast has to hear. Um, yeah, this person streams on Twitch at the Bees Cleese, so they said, join the hive. Join their hive. If you're a Twitch user, you know, uh, go on over. Send some yeah, podcasts. Yeah, join the hive. Uh, and they said, believe it. So, I do. Um, I do believe it. I do believe I, that. I also believe it. I was watching Law and Order, and uh-huh. there's like a really tense moment where Detective Stabler finally catches someone yeah. who's been avoiding like them the whole time. Right, right. And the guy goes, "You're you're never gonna fucking catch me. You'll never do it." And then Stabler turns around and goes, "Believe it." And they gave me a oh heart gosh. attack. And you're like, "Yo!" You know, yeah, I, I, I had like my body seized up midway. <laughs> My jaw locked and fell off instantly. It was crazy. But uh, if you hear anyone in the wild say the words "believe it," tell them about the podcast. Yeah, tell everyone yeah. about the podcast. Shout out from the motherfucking rooftop, baby. Um, baby. Thank you, big as always, to Glenn Federico for our logo and for episode art. Morgan Williamson for our business oh, card. Oh, oh, I bloody got him. Um, <laughs> Next Monday, we're going to be talking about episodes 56 and 57, and we're going to be doing a little Q&A Ooh, at the end. We're going to be answering some of your Q-Q. questions. So uh, let us know what you think if you watched ahead. Send in questions, although we're recording ahead of time, but like, still record them for future Q&As. Oh, what a throwback to season one. I know, right? That's crazy. I know, I know. Um, yeah, I love recording for the future. It's such a classic. <laughs> but uh, yeah, thank you everybody so much for listening. And as always, 
Be safe. Have fun. Believe it.